Good morning. How are you all doing? It's Sunday and we are on a mega, mega, mega walk today. I'm here at the Barcelo, not the Barcelo, the Sandos Papagayo Hotel. We're right on the beach. This is as far this way as you can go on the front. Just past me on this side is the Papagayo beaches. And look, look at that. Doesn't it look beautiful? Listen, all you can hear is the waves. Now we're gonna walk all the way from here <laughs> to the lighthouse, to the lighthouse. That is a monster walk. We've got the watch on to see how many steps it is. And uh, let's go, you're coming with me. Now, if you're watching this on TikTok, it's live. If you're watching it on YouTube, it's a catch up and it may stop halfway through. It depends on the batteries. My batteries are fully charged, but the camera, well, we will see. So come on, let's go. People think I'm mad. Let's have a look who we got on live already. Oh my God, 226 people. Lovely family there, look, enjoying their, uh, their holiday down on the beach with the kids. Really nice to see. Right, let's get this ready. Camera's on, let me just check a couple of settings. Boom, we're off. Right, so let's tell you where we are. So this is the furthest part that you can go. That hotel is the Sandos Papagayo. It's massive, it's huge, um, and it's a really nice hotel. So that's the furthest this way of hotel-wise that you can be. And then, look at this. So they've built around here, and obviously this little house, look how beautiful this little house is. I would love to live there. Well, I would have loved to have lived there without the hotel at the back of it but i reckon that they started building these hotels and whoever owns this house said no chance i'm not selling and i'm not moving so they just built around it look but what an amazing place it's beautiful right on the sea and there you are boom what town are you in i am in playa blanca lanzarote today and we're going on a monster walk and as I said, just there, look, is the Papagayo beaches. So you can only access the Papagayo beaches either on foot or by car, because they're right out in the sticks, but they're some of the best beaches in the world, literally in the world. So let's go. Let's go walk. Let's go see what we can see. So next hotel we come to, Someone's going there in August, Hannah, fabulous. I'm just gonna sort this camera out just a little wee bit, hang on. There you go. So Hannah's going in August, you should have a lovely time. August is super hot. Weather-wise, it's been great, but it's been windy, but the wind has died down today. So this one is the Gran Tagoro Hotel. And this is a massive hotel. It used to be called Gran Castillo, which means castle but it's now called Gran Tagoro, but it's beautiful. Uh, roll on the 12th of June, can't wait. Brilliant, Steve. You should love it. I mean, look at this place, it's gorgeous. So the Gran Tagoro, look, is another massive hotel in this area. There's quite a few big hotels around here. They're huge. And this walk, we are literally, we can walk all the way to the lighthouse along the coast of Playa Blanca and just look at the views you get. They are absolutely stunning. And this is a lovely place to come and walk. Absolute gorgeous place. First of June for Jeremy, brilliant. Or, or Jenny, sorry. To be on a, more, a morning walk abroad, I know. Well, I do this every day because I live here. So if you're new to the channel, I live in Lanzarote. Um, morning, you all right? Let's have a look, who we got, who we got, who we got. Uh, morning, loving your walk, old pal. Who's that, Mart? Morning, Mart. The feeling is the best, I know, yeah. Just come back from Playa Blanca, loved it. Oh, we may, we may have some signal issues at this area, I don't know. You should go to Costa de Guise. I always go to Costa de Guise. I've done a couple of lives from there, but obviously I try and change it up a bit and go to different places. Where are you this morning? I'm in Playa Blanca, look. So I'm right outside the Gran Tagoro Hotel, which is beautiful, look. It's a gorgeous hotel. And it's massive. Now I've done a walk around that hotel and a room reveal 
on my YouTube channel. So what we're going to do, if you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, this is the catch up. So we always go live on TikTok. Why do we go live on TikTok? Well, number one, we've got a lot more followers and a lot more interaction. And number two, it's so much better live on TikTok because the quality is great when you're walking around. Um, for those of you that follow me on YouTube, and if you're on TikTok now, go over to my YouTube channel because there's longer videos on there, huge videos with really, really big information. Um, this will be a, a catch up. So I've got two cameras running and this is a catch up of the live. So if you're watching on YouTube, it's a catch up. Morning, you all right? And this beach down here look, is for the dogs as well. So you're allowed to bring dogs down on this beach. So every morning it's really busy and people are bringing their dogs down. Look, you can see a few there. It's like a doggy meeting place. So yeah, as I was saying, YouTube, that's the, that's the channel for all the information. So if you head over to that, it's travelon.world, same as this channel, um, and you can get all the long form information because the TikTok has to be quick videos. Uh, hope you and your family are well. Yes, thank you very much, Nicola. Nicola Cork, oh, that's Nicola Nicola, I was just, I recognise that name. How are you, Nicola, you all right? Nicola did a fantastic video for us in the HL Rio Hotel, and that's on our YouTube as well, where she shows us all the way around, shows us her room and everything. Uh, what's the Vic San Antonio like? It's a great hotel, central to Porta del Carmen. Um, lovely place, the outside and the pool area, super modern. The inside sort of reception area, I find a little bit dated. Don't know about the rooms, but I'm sure they're, they're probably really nice. Um, it's just the reception, I think, needs a little bit of a spruce up. Well, you ain't staying in reception, are you? So you'll be fine. Stayed at the Sandos Papagayo, that's just behind us. We're in Playa Blanca Lanzarote today, walking from the Sandos all the way to the lighthouse, if we make it. If we make it. Right, let's go. So don't forget to share this live, guys, if you're on. Uh, if you've got any friends, <laughs> unlike me, who's a proper loner, well, having a walk on my own every day. Um, if, you've got any, if, you've, if you've got mates, share this live and tell them to tune in. So there you go, lovely view, look, of where we've just started. Gran Tagoro, Sandos Papagayo, sun is booming. And there's the Papagayo beaches over there. Gorgeous place, look at that. And you can see over there, look, Fuerteventura and Los Lobos. And you can get the ferry over to there, which I'll tell you about when we get to the harbour. Geez, that seems like far away to me. This one is the Mirador Papagayo. And this is what I love about Lanzarote. This is what I love about walking in, Lanz in, in Playa Blanca especially, is that you get to know all the different hotels along the front um, because they're all really easy to see so if you come in, you can sort of think, oh, well, I'll stop there next time. But can you imagine, look, waking up on that balcony and then boom, bang, there you go. Isla El Mar, is that a good hotel? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. I think it's a five star. It's got one of the best restaurants in Lanzarote, very posh. Um, but the inside of it and the, the pool and, and around the Isla El Mar is like super modern. It's probably, in my opinion, one of the most modern hotels I've seen. Gorgeous, gorgeous, proper posh. Uh, just come back from there, stayed at Elba. Elba's great. I say on every live, I'm due to do a video in Elba. I've got the number of the manager. He keeps telling me I can, I just need to get doing it. What's Sandos, uh, Sands Beach like? Sands Beach is nice. I think it's a three star, it's in Costa de Guiz. It's a sports hotel. Well, it's not just a sports hotel, but they do focus very much on sports um, because they've got like the Olympic sized swimming pool in there. Uh, Lickies lands are hot in December, yet yeah, Christmas time's always hot. We always have Christmas dinner in the sun. Any nice girls there? Wow, there's a few. <laughs> not that I'm looking, but uh, it's nice girls everywhere, no? Everywhere you go, you can always find a nice girl. Did you see Lava Beach? Yeah, I think I did a video on my YouTube of Lava Beach, a full one. Let's have a little nose over there. <sighs> beach Mate Oasis. Uh, beach Mate Oasis. Yeah, again, Costa de Guise. Um, small place, not massive, um, but centrally located by everything. And the flora as well. The flora is right next to the Isla El Marluk. And again, a really, really nice place. Um, 
get, I'm gonna do all the videos, get them on here and get them on YouTube. So that's the plan, that's the plan. Get over YouTube, follow the YouTube channel and um, that's where I'll be posting all the big walk arounds, the hotels. And I've got loads all the way from Tenerife as well. Um, I've got hundreds to edit. I've got loads of content on the way to Tenerife. Uh, let's have a look. Best place for a family holiday. Definitely play a blanker if you come in with family. Definitely play a blanker. So here we go, look. We've just passed the Mirador Papagayo and we're heading this way. Now, the signal does get a little bit crap just by the castle. So if I cut off, just hold. Don't go anywhere because I just need to run past the castle and then it should come back on. It may not even go off. Princess Yiza's lovely, five star. Mrs. Travelon, banging on about that place, wants me to take her there. Maybe I will. <laughs> Maybe I will, and we'll do a video. A good walk from Port del Carmen to the airport. It is indeed. I've done that before, Matty. In fact, I've done it on live. It nearly killed me. But you can see lots of people out today running, walking uh, on a Sunday morning. Definitely the thing to do. Do you ever go to Port del Carmen yet? Always in Porta del Carmen. Uh, the last, I think the last four live mega walks has been Porta del Carmen. So we do Porta del Carmen, Playa Blanca, Costa de Guise. What do you think of Santa Cruz, Tenerife? Well, it's the capital. So uh, it's sort of a city holiday with a beach included. <laughs> but I mean, all the Canary Islands, the capitals are gorgeous. They have, uh, they have plenty for you to do. It's a city, but they have gorgeous beaches as well. So it's beautiful. Someone's in Loma Blanca right now. Sean, Loma Blanca is a gorgeous place, isn't it? Really small, but, uh, but nice. Top of a hill as well. So I bet you're keeping fit. H10 Rubicon is amazing. One of my favorite hotels, Lily. Costa Adecchi, yeah. I went there last, well, two weeks ago. I've got loads of videos coming for Tenerife as well. Again, they'll be all put on the YouTube channel. Let's have a look. So down here, look. He's gorgeous, look at that for a view. So down there, look, you can go. It's like a little, um, it's like a little private beach area. You have to climb down, look. If you're daring enough, you can go down that cliff face and you'll have your own little lagoon. It's gorgeous. Now, if the tide comes in, you have to run. <laughs> Shane loves Lanzarote. Did you go to Tiaz? Uh, Tiaz, yeah, that's a residential area. It's, uh, well, I sort of say it's not really a holiday resort, but it is. There's plenty of places you can rent in Tiaz, but it is a residential area. Um, I will do a walk around there soon. We be live on YouTube later. I don't do lives on YouTube. What I do, I'm recording this live on another camera and I'll update the whole um, live onto YouTube as a video. I don't go live on YouTube because it's, the quality is terrible. It's rubbish. Until they sort that out, it ain't happening. <laughs> And that's why many people move to TikTok. Uh, do you like Ibira Star Lanzarote Park? Yep, we're going to be passing that soon. Well, soon. It's a bit of a trek from here, but we are going to be passing it. Is it Costa de Guise? No, Jacko, we're in Playa Blanca today. Not many bars about. We're not in that area yet, mate. So I've started at the, uh, at the back end or the top end of Playa Blanca. So this is more where the hotels are. We're going to be entering... Marina Rubicon in a minute, and then plenty of bars and restaurants there, and then as we walk, you'll be able to see there. So it's not like um, Porta del Carmen where it's just one strip of bars and restaurants. It's a little bit different here. Flagship bar soon. Yes, indeed, flagship. That's in the Marina Rubicon. Going to play a Blanca in June. What, what a gaff. Yes, what a gaff. Which hotel are you staying in? I'm staying in my house. I live here, mate. <laughs> I live here. Have you been Sandos Papagayo? Uh, we just started at Sandos Papagayo. Um, there's a full video on Sandos Papagayo, again, on my YouTube channel, so you can go over and have a look at that. It's a full walk around. It shows you absolutely everything, and a room as well. Um, how far are you walking? Who knows? All the way to the lighthouse, if I make it. So you can see the castle just up here. This is sometimes where we lose a bit of signal. So do bear with me. If we do go off, don't go anywhere, okay? Um, staying at THB Flora this Thursday, beautiful hut, beautiful place, Laura. It's at the top of a hill. That's the only downfall to the Flora, is you have to walk up a big hill to get there. But 
you've got scooters and you've got taxis. So you've got nothing to worry about. And you're right by the harbour as well. So you've got all your boat trips. And on the subject of boat trips, if anybody wants any boat trips, they're getting full. It's May. It's May and they're fully booked for, for like a few days in advance. So you have to book in advance. You have to book your boat trips in advance for sure. It's going to be a, it's going to be a complicated summer. Um, and if you want to book your boat trips, you go to www.excursionslanzarote.com or travelon.world. There's a link in my bio and you can book there. And if you use the code WEBDIS, W-E-B-D-I-S, you'll get a discount, okay? Um, that's our site, but please make sure to get your, um, your excursions, your boats, everything booked in advance because I tell you what, it's going to be mad this summer. I don't know what, well... I know after COVID everything went mad, but it's looking like it's not calming down. This hotel is lovely. Lovely place this, look. This is called the Cala Suites, I think. And it's a gorgeous little place. Very white, very bright. What happened to your Alba review? I know, Ash. My wife said that the other day, Mrs. Traveline. She said, you keep saying you do it, you're gonna do it, and you ain't done it yet. I've got permission to go and bloody do it. I'm gonna do it next week, promise. Uh, any nice restaurants around Playa Blanca? Loads, Ellie. I'll tell you as we walk. As we walk, Ellie, I'll point them out to you. Can't get better service than that, can you? Are you anywhere near the Rubicon yet? Two minutes away. Or the Rubicon Palace uh, Hotel? No, but we're walking that far. So this hotel, look, Color Suites, is beautiful. And these are little apartments, and some have their own pool, look. And the beauty of this is I can sneak over. Watch this. Watch this. There's a gap in the wall, look. And that pool is empty, but imagine stopping there, look, with that pool full. And then, boom, that's your view. How beautiful is that? Take me to Electron and Ikea. <laughs> we, were there, we were there yesterday, Electron. Electron's gone crap now, absolutely rubbish. It's been taken over by a company and it's just terrible. Best is Wharton's now in the, in the uh, open mall, and we've got a media mart opening soon as well. Right, here we go. Let me hop up on here. So this is Cala Suites, which is closed. Interesting. So this place is closed. Must be being refurbished or something, because the pool's empty, look. They're painting the pool. So there you go. A closed hotel. But a beautiful one, all the, all the, all the more look. How much are excursions for a 12 to 13 year old? It depends on the excursion. If you go on our website, it tells you the, um, tells you the ages of what kids are. So sometimes they start at 12, sometimes they start at 14. So it depends where, where, whether they class them as adults or not. It depends on the different excursion people. So there you go, Color Suites is under construction that's been painted i mean the amount of white paint that they use on this island is incredible look everything's painted white and if you can see the windows are green blue and brown and the reason for that is if um, in the olden days well in the olden days i don't think it was that old but um they said if you are by the sea or part of the sea you paint your windows blue i think i might be wrong in this if you're a farmer you paint them brown and green, I'm not sure. It's green or brown that is like farmland. Um, I'll have to do some research on it. Somebody will be on here and tell me. Somebody will mention it. Definitely on YouTube. We get a lot of uh, a lot of Lanzarote boffins on YouTube and they know all the answers. They know more than me. So someone will answer me what the different colours mean. Uh, do you recommend Sandos Papagaya Hotel? Yeah, it's massive. It's beautiful. Huge video on my YouTube channel about that. What area of Lanzarote? You're in Playa Blanca. So that's the castle there. Now you can walk up to that castle. Um, you can't go in it, but it's a nice place to have a little walk around. This is sometimes where I lose the signal. So I'm gonna get past it as quick as possible. Cause only this bit, that I lose a bit of signal. It's right by the Vulcan Hotel, which I'll show you cause that's coming up on the right hand side here. Yeah. Lovely blue skies. Yeah, it's gorgeous today gorgeous so look lots of people out on a sunday morning having a walk or a run keeping fit and that's what it's all about you've got to keep 
yourself going, haven't you? There's the Vulcan Hotel. That's a five-star hotel and it's beautiful. And again, I've done a video of that and put it on the, YouTube, the YT channel. Better not keep saying that word, I know, because TikTok pick up on it and they start um, not pushing your videos out. They're very clever, TikTok. So there you go, there's a castle, look. You can have a little walk up there if you want. And there's some public toilets there which are never open. Beautiful. HL Club Player Blanca, yeah, that's another nice place. They've just built a gym at the HL Club Player Blanca. Brand new gym. Here we go. So we're heading now to the Marina Rubicon. We're literally not far from the Marina Rubicon. I don't think this walk's gonna take me too long, you know. It'd be interesting to see how long it's gonna take. I think we've been going 20 minutes. I mean, it is a bit of a trek, but I reckon we'll make it to the lighthouse this morning and then Mrs. Travelon is gonna have to pick me up. <laughs> I ain't walking back, I can tell you that now. So Marina Rubicon just ahead of us and you're gonna enjoy Marina Rubicon, it's beautiful. This is where you're gonna see some bars and restaurants. Uh, Mrs. Travelon's on, she said she'll pick me up. Um, I enjoyed that walk, it's a lovely walk, honestly. It's one of the best walks in Lanzarote. And with views like this, look, you can see all the way over to Fuerteventura there. And I'll tell you how you can get over to Fuerteventura when we get to the harbour as well. Gorgeous place, look at that. So, before we get into Marina Rubicon, we were talking about fitness, weren't we? So, you've got to stay fit and healthy. So, I've been trying this fasting. And since Wednesday, I did a 72-hour fast. So, I never ate anything. Well, actually, it was a little bit less than 72 hours because uh, I had to eat yesterday. So I did a 72 hour fast. So how did I find it? Well, I lost about three kilos. And uh, they say when you fast, you're meant to look, feel amazing. I felt like crap for three days, but it's definitely done me well, for sure. And I think after three days, I think you, that's when you start feeling good, but you've got to get through that three days. Some people fast for about 21 days. Maybe I'll try that one day, but 72 hours was enough for me. There you go, look at that. So this is the Volcan Hotel. This is the five star hotel. Again, I've done a full walk around on this one on the YT channel. Um, and this place is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Go to Puerto Blanco for food. Yeah, I've heard that's nice. We're gonna pass that like, uh, soon when we get down that area. I reckon this is gonna be an easy walk, you know. One of the lives I did was from the old town Puerto del Carmen all the way to the airport. Now that was a walk. I don't reckon this one's gonna kill me. So you've got a little back, out, back end here. Um, this is a beautiful place to come. Walk through there and you'll get the little back backside and you'll see some really unique restaurants. Um, am I gonna walk that way? Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, I will. And then you've got the Vulcan there. And we'll walk through here and I'll show you down here. Maybe I won't go down the steps, maybe I'll show you the flagship. So here we go. So these are lovely little restaurants, look. Closed now, obviously, but really nice. To come and chill out on the evening. All little walkways, look. How beautiful is this? And you wait till you see the real marina as well. It's gorgeous. So you might miss this place at the back of uh, Marina Rubicon. You might not see it because it's sort of up the top, um, but it's definitely worth coming and exploring. Definitely worth it, look. Little cobbled streets and the flagship is somewhere around here. Maybe I've missed it, no I haven't, I think it's this way. But look at the views, look. So we're heading down there to, well, there's the flagship there, look. So you've got a little bar there called the flagship. That's very popular there. And again, it's one of them places that you'd 100% miss if you didn't know it was here. So when you come to Marina Rubicon, have a little explore around and come up to this area at the top because there's some hidden gems up here that you might miss. And I'm gonna head back down the steps if I can find the way and start down by Arabella's, uh, restaurant Arabella's, because that's lovely. Here we go, down we go. Uh, here we go, here's some steps. Let's get down these little steps here, look. 
Here we go, here we go. So you've got coffee and cake up on the top floor there. And then down here, look, you come to lovely marina. Look at this. If you've got some dollar, get yourself a boat. <laughs> I think they're a waste of money to be honest because all you do is pay for them to be moored and then you have to clean them and everything but I, I don't know whether I'd like it I think I'll just rent one right and here we go at the start of Arabella's lovely restaurant this is we did a family video here we came for a family meal and I filmed it all and again it's on the YT channel but it's a great place to come and down here on a Wednesday and Saturday they have a market so every Wednesday and Saturday they have the market. Um, well worth coming down on a Wednesday and Saturday. If you're stopping in Puerto del Carmen or Costa de Guise, you can book it with a bus, a return bus. Um, it's really cheap, it's about 20 euros. And they'll bring you down for the day and then take you back to Puerto del Carmen and Costa de Guise. And again, you can get that on our, on our uh, website, excursionslanzarote.com, travelon.world. And if you use the code WEBDIS, then you'll get a discount. Now don't worry, it's not raining, look. That lady's just spraying everything down because we've had a little bit of what's called a kalima where the wind has blown over the sand so everything's very dusty at the moment it's gone now so this is where everyone will be cleaning their cars uh, there'll be a queue for the car wash and everyone will be hosing down the garden i'll be doing that later when i get back i think which i hate that job um so other restaurants around here look you've got the casa roja which is the red, the red building. Ah. So it's a nice little restaurant here, look. And again, amazing views out on the terrace. And this takes you sort of uh, at the back end. So there you go, that's one of the only red buildings here. So they must have the monopoly on red paint. Because <laughs> everything else is white. But look at these places, look, where you can sit. Sit on the terrace here, have your food. This will be very busy later. Sunday, very Spanish, very Canary, and they all go out for Sunday dinner. Different to our Sunday dinner. It's not, a, it's not a Sunday roast, although you can get a Sunday roast here. But they have like um, tapas and paella, and they all sit around and they all put their, t they, they all order the, the small dishes and they all share it and everything. And that's how they do it. And do you know what makes me laugh? And I've said this in other videos. If you go to a Chinese buffet um, and see the Spanish, they go and get plates of everything and put it in the middle of the table. It really winds me up. It really winds me up. So they'll get a big plate of prawns. They'll get a big plate of, of uh, rice. They'll get a big plate of that. They'll put it in the middle and they all share. And I'm like, for God's sake, it's a Chinese buffet. Just go and get your own stuff. But that's what they're used to. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny to see and I think it I think it annoys the Chinese restaurant owners as well I don't know if there's more waste or not I would say there's more waste I don't know a little bit of music's just come on here I'm gonna see if I can walk through here just put a bit of music on there it's a lovely little terrace this look gorgeous beautiful now i've got to be careful with the music on for the youtube video because they uh they mute it for copyright thanks for sharing thanks for watching thanks for watching uh, is this far from royal alba not too far you probably need to get a taxi or if you like me you can walk probably about a 30 minute 40 minute walk so this is a new place i always it was not a new place it's an old place but they've opened next door as well which i'll show you exclusive exclusive look at the new place so this place is the oasis marina bar they do uh, cocktails snacks and stuff like that they don't do food but it's lovely and you can come here look and see all the fish look at all them big massive fish in there bring some bread down and you can throw the bread in it's a nice thing to do with the kids and you can have a cocktail as well in there which is great. So let's get you an exclusive look at this place. And I know the owner of here, so I'm going to be uh, certainly getting in there and doing a video. So this is the Oasis Club and Grill. So they've just opened this. 
So that's the Oasis Cocktail Bar, Marina Bay, look. Hang on, let me just move this around. That's the Oasis, and then they've just bought this place here, and they've opened it as the Oasis Grill and Club. Look at that. So you can come here, you can have food, and you've got use of the pool as well. Beautiful. I'm gonna to have to come and do a full video there because it's brand spanking new, that place. It's the first time I've seen it, so there's an exclusive for you. Exclusive. Beautiful. So that used to be a pool that you could just pay for for the day, but it was never ever used. So they've obviously took it over and said, come on, we'll open a restaurant there, we'll do it properly. Great place. And it's right next to Aphrodite. Uh, little Italy, little Italy, little Italy. Little Italy. Uh, that's uh, an Italian restaurant. And uh, now we've just done a video on Italian restaurants. We went to Dal Trevisano in the Faro Park area. And uh, again, little family meal and I filmed it. So it's great. And that's on our YT channel as well. Here's another one that's owned by Oasis. Look, this does all your coffee cake. Um, so they've got Natura cake and cocktails. Morning. Morning. How are you? Are you on the... I am. Yes, I see you're on the board tonight. On the, on the YouTube? Yes. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, you're on live now. Oh. 855 people watching you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're having a good holiday. Don't worry, you look beautiful. You go, Look, you're all shiny. <laughs> your shoes are matching your top. I love it. Are you having a good holiday, yeah? Yes, we just arrived late last night. Late last night? Where are you stopping? Oh, very posh. You'll have a great time. Well, this will be posted on the YouTube. So if you go to the YouTube later on, you'll be able to see yourself. You'll have to go forward about 20, about, about 32 minutes. You'll be on there. All right, have a lovely holiday. See you later. Bye-bye. Hola. There you go. They're stopping at the Dreams. Nice place. Uh, book for next year. Please let me know the... Fario, what's that? Please let me know. Farionis is coming along. Oh, yeah, the Farionis, he's coming along. I don't know how far away it is, but I can't really film around there because you can't really see it. But the biggest hotel in Lanzarote that's been built, we're going to pass in about five or ten minutes and you get a good view of that. So here, look, there's a beautiful view of the Marina Rubicon, look. And you can just come down here, honestly, and just walk around. It is stunning. Look at that. And you can walk along all these bridges. Lovely little boardwalk around here. You can look at all the boats. Marina Rubicon is definitely coming along. Now they have got a big shopping centre here, which is dead. Nobody ever goes there, which is a shame because it's a nice little shopping centre. Uh, but it's always dead. So I don't know what they need to do in Marina Rubicon to attract more people. Um, I know this place is busy during the evenings and stuff. But the shopping centre is dead. I'll show you in a minute where it is. Um, but this is Lani's. Now, Lani's is a big brand in Lanzarote. They used to have loads of hotel, uh, restaurants. Um, but he sold a lot of them off. But some have kept the name, like this one, Lani's. And this is the Lani's restaurant. And then next door, you've got the snack bar. And Lani's has opened a massive place in Puerto del Carmen called Serenity, which is a very posh place. Well worth a look. Had Alani's grill last week, absolutely shit. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Mind the language, sir. Um, yeah, you can feed the fish. Uh, where, is Lanzar where in Lanzarote is this? We're in Marina Rubicon. So look at this, this is, uh, this is my best Lani's. This is the snack bar. This is really good value for money. Um, really cheap and does like basic sort of snacks, kebabs, chicken and chips. Morning. Kebabs, chicken and chips, spit roast chicken. 10 euros for a chicken with chips, look. Full, full chicken and chicken, full chicken with chips, 10 euros to take away. Now I remember when that was 6.95, but everything's gone up in price, hasn't it? But I can't film too much around here for YouTube because they've got the music on, but you can feed the fish. So you can sit there, there's a little bit of glass in the floor and you can throw your dinner down there and feed the fish. But they do give you leftover bread or old bread if you've got kids with you and the kids can throw it over. <sighs> Music warning, I know. 
Bloody YouTube, that is. This is why I do everything on TikTok. YouTube, if you walk into a place and there's music on, they'll mute the video for copyright. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Hello from the UK, hello. So this is the shopping centre I was talking about, the Marina Rubicon shopping centre. And it's got some great little shops in there. It's got a Fun Grube, it's got some designer shops, it's got some uh, lady shops. It's got everything, but it's always dead. And on the top floor, it's got a bowling alley. And it's great if you want to come bowling, do a little bit of pool. It's well worth a visit. So the only problem with this place is it's hard to get a taxi back. So here we are. This is the, that was Marina Rubicon. Now we're heading in this direction towards the lighthouse. And here, look, you'll see the biggest hotel in Lanzarote ever that has been built. And again, I do a monthly update on this hotel. And I was gonna send the drone over today because on a Sunday, it's clear they're not working on it. But it's a little bit too windy for the drone, maybe later. But look at the bloody size of it. It's massive. So this was a hotel called Pueblo Marinero. That's gone, so they've demolished that. That's gonna be a huge park area. So they're gonna put a massive park area there. And then as we walk through, I'll explain what they're doing. So that's the hotel itself. They reckon you can book it from December. So December, it's gonna be open. Uh, how the heck will they get, that, get the staff? I have no idea. I have no idea, that's the big problem. So December they're gonna open. How they're gonna get the stuff I don't know, but it's huge, it's massive. And they're, um, you see these things here, this is something to do with the salt. Um, so they're, um, they're, what's it called, restoration. They're keeping this as a historical place, they can't knock this down obviously. So they're restoring it to its uh, former glory. So it'll be a nice little historical thing, a little bit like the castle maybe. And that'll be there, look. It's called, what's it called? Restoration of the Agua Salinas Barugo. There you go. So they're keeping that. But all of this area here, so where you see this path here, this is gonna be triple the size. So where you see the footpath and the walkway, triple the size to the right, to where it starts. And this is all gonna be open up with tables and chairs and all of those are gonna be restaurants, bars, cafes, shops, and huge tables and chairs and places to sit there. And maybe, just maybe, they're gonna build a beach there, but I don't know if that's fake news or not, but they should do. For sure, they should build a be beach there. That would be nice. But look at the bloody size of this hotel. It's massive. It's gonna be huge. How far from HL Player Blanca? Uh, HL Player Blanca, Club Player Blanca. Well, we're a little bit far from there because we're down on the front. Uh, HL Player Blanca is a little bit further back from here. But to get here from the HL Player Blanca walking, probably about 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. Is Holiday Village nice? Yeah, it's lovely. What is the Hotel K Beach like? K Beach is great. Um, K Beach is quite well located, to be fair. Um, it's not far from everything. It's just, it's actually not too far from here. It's just a little bit sort of back. So you've got, you've got hotels that are along the front here, and then you've got ones that are a little bit further back. But they all lead down to the front. And look at that view, guys. Look at that. What are your thoughts on Elba? Elba's a really nice hotel. Again, I'm going to do a video there. I keep saying it, don't I? <laughs> How far from Floresta? Miles away from Floresta. Floresta's in Port del Carmen. There you go, look. So there is the big hotel. We're still going, look. There's gonna be restaurants up there. You can, I don't know if you can see the entrance, see that? That's gonna be the reception area. It's like a Chinese temple. And it is a bit breezy, unfortunately. I'd have had the drone out today but it is a little bit too breezy for it. We stayed at Mirador Papagayo, yeah, I just passed that earlier. Uh, thoughts on Alondras Villas, very nice, best villas on the island. And you've also got a restaurant there called uh, Arenas Lounge. 
it's very posh as well and that's right in Alondra's Villas Elba Village yes it's lovely I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna go to the Elba I've not every live I do someone's always asking about the Elba I have done a video on there where I uh, interviewed somebody in a room and that's on the YouTube channel um, so you can have a look at what the rooms look like but I didn't manage to get round the hotel itself Porta del Carmen's far yeah it's about it's about a 30 minute drive 30 minute drive from here you can get the local bus though so. oh we got a thousand we just hit a thousand for people brilliant best month for weather well peak season probably morning mate morning. how are you you're right yeah, you having a morning walk Santa Rosa nice place yeah Santa Rosa's gorgeous that's in the uh, sort of top end of Costa de Guise so this this hotel here is called the the dreams and that's where them two ladies that we uh, we saw in Marina Rubicon are stopping here at the dreams is Costa Blanca nice I'm not sure uh, where is what's Costa de Guise like Costa de Guise is nice everything's spread out in Costa de Guise so it's difficult for me to do like big walk big walks in one one line um, but I have got a full full walk around Costa de Guise again on the YT so if you're watching this on TikTok it's live obviously <laughs> if you're on YouTube this is a catch-up so I'm filming as we walk so this is filming at the same time so it's just for people on YouTube to catch up on anything they might have missed or if you want to watch this again you can head over there and you can see any bits that you might miss or if I, have, if I haven't answered any questions you can go over there and you can ask any questions or if you private message me I always answer the, the, the questions for you is this Tenerife? no Luke we're in Lanzarote today mate Tenerife videos on the way though loads of them I'm just editing them all what's the best Canary Island to go well big debate on that because I've just come back from Tenerife and I loved it and there's a big debate it's either between Lanzarote and Tenerife two totally different islands Lanzarote is very chill and uh, Tenerife is a little bit more exciting he's out walking his dog and watching a video <laughs> at the same time there you go so that is the dreams the dreams 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 uh, what's it called dreams player dorada so that's the dreams player dorada it's beautiful it's a gorgeous hotel I think it's a four four star I don't think it's a five star but it's a beautiful hotel and we're nearly in town this is gonna be an easy walk this is easy too hot for dogs not at this time of the morning I think they're all right but yeah peak time when the sun's out and you see people walking the dogs on the hot floor it is a little bit too hot for them morning you're right so there you go K Beach there K Beach I'm going mad dreams uh, dreams there look and I'll show you the, the uh, private section or the upgrade section of dreams here here we go you've got the Princess Yaisa coming up as well that's a five-star hotel that is beautiful Mrs Travelon keeps banging on for if she wants to stay there so maybe one day maybe one day maybe they'll give us a free room <laughs> that's the only way we are gonna stay there I tell you I think it's very expensive what? so there you go that's um, the upgraded section of the dreams player Dorada so in there you've got a swim up pool it's adults only you've got big beds and what's the pool called the pool's called sea legs or something but it's super posh very quiet very peaceful and like I said you've got a swim up pool where you can sit on the little seat and have a few drinks and then you're right next to Playa Dorada which is busy for a Sunday morning look Playa Dorada's busy at this time of the morning well when I say busy it's getting it's getting there and look at that for a view so you've got Playa Dorada I'll walk down here look and show you look at this beach beautiful sandy beach I think it's a man-made beach I'm not sure I know Playa Flamingo is a man-made beach and um, if anybody knows if this is a man-made beach I'm sure it is look because they've like built the rocks out here 
can you go to Elba? Yes, I promise you, by next, n not next week, the week after, you will have a video, full video on the Elba Hotel, I promise. I'm making the promise now to 966 people on live. I promise you, I'll be doing the Elba. I've got the number of the manager. I'm going to message him tomorrow and say, right, when can I do it? I'll try and do it this week. So there is Dreams Player Dorada. People setting up for the day, look. You can hire the sunbeds. Easy to hire the sunbeds. I don't know how much they are, but a little tip for you. If you come down after five o'clock, because it's still hot, uh, you can just get them, you can just use them. But there's people going in the sea, so it can't be that cold, can it? Plenty of kids down there. A lot of the youngsters that live here come down to this beach as well. It's probably the most popular beach in Playa Blanca because it's close to everything. Um, but we are going to pass the Playa Flamingo in a bit, which I'll also show you. And it's right next to the Princess Yiza Hotel, this. Look, there's the five-star Princess Yiza. I'm not going to go in there today because we're on a mish and we're going to get to the lighthouse. My legs are wobbling already. What's Los Sacos Hotel like? Lovely. Los Sacos is a big family hotel in Costa de Guise. Um, it's gorgeous, uh, really nice. Um, I worked there in 2004 and it was a hellhole. <laughs> it was terrible. Uh, we, I worked for First Choice and there was queues out the door complaining because it was really old, but it got, basically got stripped out and redone and now it's super nice, super modern and beautiful. So you'll have a lovely time at Los Arcos and the food's really nice as well. The hotel looks lush. Yeah, that's the five-star Princess Yiza. Is it the best hotel on the island? I reckon so. I reckon it's the best hotel on the island. It's one of them five stars that's got the five star, if that makes sense. There's a couple of five stars, but that place is like service, service, service. It's like you get butlers and everything. You know, when you go in, they bring them big, them big uh, gold trolleys and they put your luggage on and all that sort of stuff. So it's that sort of five star and the food is meant to be incredible. Mrs. Travelon loves it. She gets her nails done in there. I don't know who she thinks she is, you know what I mean? I really don't. Um, right, <laughs> what we got? Up there, you've got the Papagayo Center. So in there, you've got lots of bars and restaurants. You've got a Burger King at the top floor, which is great for the beach. Um, I always say this, the Burger King is awful. The food's all right, but the service and the decor, it's really horrible. It's probably the worst Burger King I've ever been in. Um, food's uh, Burger King food, but yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see when you go in there and they have this really crap music on, it drives me mad. But there you go, if you need a Burger King, and you need something quick and easy for the kids, bang, right next to the beach. You can't grumble, can you? Hopefully good, blah, 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 blah. Let's have a look. How far is Elba? From here, you probably have 40 minute walk, 30 minute walk. Barney's Bar live music every night. Yeah, there's Barney's Bar, look. Just past that supermarket sign. Top floor, Barney's Bar, Bistro and Music Bar. They have good music in there. And then down the bottom, look, which I've missed completely, is Bikers Beach Club, which is open on the night. That's very much like your sort of hard rock cafe. And then next to it, you've got the Harp Irish Bar. Um, again, another beautiful bar. And right on the front, right next to the beach. And what a beach it is, look. Playa Dorada. There you go. Look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Why would you eat Burger King when you come on holiday? Fucking hell. Because, mate, some people like to eat what they want to eat without being judged. <laughs> people like that really wind me up. I do videos on, like, best fish and chips and stuff. Why would you want to eat fish and chips when you come on holiday? Well, because sometimes you want to eat fish and chips. You want to eat Chinese. You want to eat Indian. You want to eat a Burger King. It's quick, it's simple, and you know you're going to enjoy it. Not all of us want to walk around the back streets eating tapas 24 hours a day. However, I do recommend that you do eat tapas and you do try the local food, but you don't have to eat it every day, do you? 
how far are you from Montagna Rocca? Uh, Montagna Rocca, you can see in a minute, I'll show you. Princess Yard is a beautiful hotel, yes it is. How long do you reckon till the new hotel opens? Uh, December. <laughs> or you can eat McDonald's if you want. What's Mind Geyser like? I stopped in Mind Geyser, and again, on the old YouTube channel, I've done a full video. You lot need to head over and follow my YouTube channel, because you're all asking the same questions, and everything's answered on there, everything. Uh, can you recommend, oh God, it's going too fast now. Lanza Sur is a great hotel. Um, it's got its own water park, it's beautiful. Now down here, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a Lanzarote secret now. Are you ready for this Lanzarote secret? Right down here is the spoon. Now if you don't, somebody's just said find the spoon. The spoon's coming up. See how many saddos are on this channel, just like me. Claire's one of them, look. The spoon is coming up. The spoon is in this area. I'm not gonna tell you where it is because you've got to come down and find it, but I'll, I'll briefly tell you the story. Down here, when they built all this floor, somebody put a spoon in the concrete and it's in the concrete here somewhere. I'm gonna tell you that it's around this area here. So it's around here, okay? And everybody loves to find it and post their pictures on Facebook and say, I found the spoon. I'm gonna to have to do some kind of competition, aren't I, about the spoon. I'm trying to think of a good idea. If you've got any ideas of how we could do something with the spoon, let me know, drop me a private message. But the spoon is here. It's even got its own Google map location. It's madness. It's madness what people love. Forking hell, not a spoon. <laughs> So down here is where you've got loads of crabs, look. I know they're looking at the crabs. For sure they're looking at the crabs. There's one dead. There's one dead down there, but you see the red crabs. Just down there, loads of red crabs. Now, interestingly enough, there was hundreds of them during the COVID. When the, when the island was dead, then there was no tourists. You'd come down here, there was no people and loads of crabs, hundreds of them all over the rocks. Obviously they hide now because of the noise. How far is Mind Geyser? From here, about a 20 minute walk, if that. In fact, less than 20 minutes to get into town from Mind Geyser, 10 minutes. Yes, I am interested in filming Be Live. If you drop me a private message, we'll arrange it and I'll come and do a room, room review with you. That'll be amazing. Thank you so much. Drop me a private message, I'll get back to you and we'll organize it. What's K Beach like? K Beach is lovely. How far is Costa de Guise? It's quite far from here, about 45 minutes in a car. Here's the Fun Grube. Not open yet, but you can get loads of stuff in here. Oh, it is open. Come on, I'll take you for a nose. I'll take you, let's go shopping. Mrs. Travelon will be eyeing up everything in here. I bought her a bag from here, actually. But here, look, you can get all your glasses, all your designer stuff, and it's all the real stuff. You've got Pandora, you've got Ray-Bans, all your glasses and everything. And there's a few of these around. There's one in Marina Rubicon in the shopping center. And there's also uh, one a little bit further up in town. There's loads of them. They're all over Tenerife. They're everywhere, look. And you can get all your designer bags. And they're the genuine thing. And I'll tell you what I found in Tenerife. When I went to Tenerife, you had all these fun groobies and designer label shops. And then you had the Lucky Lucky Men right outside selling on um selling the, the the fake ones the genuine fakes right in front of the shop i was really shocked at that it wouldn't happen here and that's the difference between here and tenerife you wouldn't find anything like that here they're very strict they keep everything clean they have very big rules like even even this little sign here that says cocktails for 4.95 now they're either not allowed to do that and the police might tell them to put it in or they've paid for that, um, which is sometimes the case, but they're really strict on keeping everything nice. Uh, is this Playa Blanca yet? Have you been to Playa Chica Beach? Yeah, it's gorgeous. That's in Puerto del Carmen. That's where you get all your water sports. So you've got your jet skis, um, your parasending, your banana boat from Playa Chica in Puerto del Carmen. And if you go on our website, excursionslanzarote.com, travelon.world, you can book all of those um, jet skis and they'll come and, uh, and, and take you out for the day water sports. Here in Playa Blanca, there is one in Marina Rubicon. 
and again it's on our website but if you want to do jet skis from Playa Blanca we'll pick you up for anything over 40 minutes and take you down to Porto del Carmen the waves are strong because the boats have just come in over there what's the weather like in October and November so October and November is usually very nice but I do a daily update Monday to Friday on this channel on my Facebook on the Instagram and um, I do a daily weather update so just keep keep watching and every day I should, should tell you what the weather's like because it could be I say it's nice in October but it could change so we've got Brisas Marinas here. This will be getting ready for a busy day today for Sunday. Definitely a busy day here. And it's lovely down here. So this is the Playa Blanca Beach look. Nobody on the Playa Blanca Beach like the, um, like the other one. How far is H10 Rubicon Palace? We'll be there soon. <laughs> we'll be there in about 30 minutes, mate. If that. If that, we're on a mission today, look. Breezes Marinas, one of the busiest restaurants on the island. Obviously not now, because it's early doors. Um, but it's, this will be rammed by lunchtime. With Spanish holiday makers, it'll be ramoed. And it's a typical Canarian. A typical Canarian restaurant. It's one of, it's one of the best. And here we go. So here's the beach, look. This is the main town beach. And it's gorgeous down here, look. Beautiful. How much for a taxi from where you are? Taxi is gonna be expensive. Get the bus, I think it's the number 161. You can get the bus down here. It's worth it for the day. Jump on the local bus, come down, explore Playa Blanca, and you can head back to Porto del Carmen. Uh, the braiding hair woman is down there. Is she, is she there already? You can't be. Oh, I'll tell you what is interesting here. This guy doing the sand sculptures, he's really talented. So he's just started a new one, look. And he'll be building that all day. So if you want to come and have a look at the progress, come down and you can pop a little money, little bit of money in the pot. But he's super, super talented. Look at that. That is beautiful. Loads of skill there. And he's sculpting that, look, there's a volcano. Wow, look at that. Do you know what, if everything goes wrong, I'll just, I'll just dare, uh, I'll just wander around making sand sculptures. I reckon I'll be quite good at that, I'm quite artistic. <laughs> I got robbed there, Jesus, really? It's very unusual for you to get robbed anywhere in Lanzarote, to be honest. Um, but let's face it, the world is full of nutcases wherever you go in the world. So everywhere you go, you've got to keep your wits around you. But I've got to be honest, this place is super safe. If you're a solo traveller or anything like that, you're quite safe in Lanzarote. Tenerife I found to be a little bit more dodge. Uh, not in all of Tenerife, but definitely sort of Las Americas area, Veronica Street. That was, a, whew, that was an experience in itself and I'm a big lad. And I felt a little bit nervous down there. Um, but Lanzarote, you've got nowhere like that. You've got Puerto Marineros here, look. Beautiful place. That's brand spanking new as well. So that's a really nice restaurant. That's just opened. Just opened, that has. And it's right on the beachfront down here. What's the weather like in August? Hot. Um, which is a bus from Porto del Carmen. It's about 350 Ellie. Cheap. Here is, I um, can't remember the name, Casa Pedro's. Another very popular one with the Spanish. Very typical Canarian in there. Have you been to the harbour? Oh, I missed that one. Where is this? Playa Blanca Lanzarote. I was there last October. It was lovely. I love Lanzarote. Uh, what's the weather like? End of July. July is usually roasting as well. There's Puerto Blanco Grill. That's just opening for the day. Everything's opening now, look. You can see Fort Ventura. You can indeed, lady, look. Boom, there's Fort Ventura for you. Have a lovely pasta, nice to eat there. Great stuff. Taxi was 40 from Los Pasillos, there you go. Um, is this near Princess Yiza? We've passed Princess Yiza. But if you go onto YouTube, you can catch up on this live because I'm recording it on another camera because that's what I do. 
are you in Arrecife? No, I'm in, well, I suppose I'm in Arrecife because Arrecife is the capital, but I'm in Playa Blanca, down the north. Yes, it's Playa Blanca. Uh, what else you got down here? There's Playa Blanca restaurant. Yes. How are you, mate? You're right. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you. Been brilliant. Work. Oh, thank you very. You're on live, look. Right, really? One thousand three hundred people. Is that all? And I like your t-shirt. No pain, no gain. Still trying. Yeah. Well, there you I'm go. Trying. How are you? You're all right. Where are you stopping, guys? We're up um, uh, Rubicon. Yeah. Uh, they'll put yeah, up there. Yeah, We've, yeah, I've yeah. just walked all the way from Santos Papagayo, so I'm going to the lighthouse. Oh, right. I'm on a I'm mega walk. From all the way down there you go. Right the We're on different, no pain, no gain. That's not, what it's all yet. about, is it? Come on, let's do it. If you go onto YouTube, you'll be able to see yourself about uh, 61 minutes into this video. Brilliant. Well, this will be. This is going to be posted on YouTube as a catch-up, so you'll be on it. You'll be able to. About 60 minutes in, you'll have to fast forward. See you later. What's your name? Rob and Carla, lovely to meet you. All the best Have a lovely day. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, bye. There you go, Rob and Carla. Lovely couple, look. I like it when people spot me. There you go. Let's have a look. What else we got? Going in November, stopping in Playa Blanca. How'd you get from Costa de Guise? My dad works on the jet skis in Playa Chica, does he? What's his name? Uh, let's have a look. Where in Lanzarote is this? Playa Blanca. You're such a nice, genuine guy. Thanks, Mark. I'm a miserable, I'm a miserable git, really. Trust me. <laughs> I've just had a drink and nearly choked. <laughs> I'm a proper miserable git, if you ask anybody that knows me. Well, I'm not. I'm just an unsociable git, to be honest. But I'm more than happy to speak to anybody when I'm out and about. I just don't go out, that's my problem. I'm like a hermit. I stay in the house. But, as I say to everybody, my job is, has always been in sales. So I've always been in sales and customer service and stuff like that. So my job <coughs> is talking, doing videos, talking all day. All day I'm talking. Um, so when I get home, last thing I wanna be doing is being chatty and jolly, is it? It's like if you're a mechanic, if you're fixing cars all day, last thing you want to do when you get home is fix the bloody car. So there you go. <laughs> there is the harbour, look. We've made it to the harbour. Say hello to Mama Rosa. I think I've just passed that place, haven't I? Oh, look, this guy's feeding all the leftover food to the birds. They're having a bit of Bollywoods. No, not Bollywoods. Imagine India, naan bread. Oh, give me some. <laughs> Don't waste that beautiful naan bread, look. Here we go, look. So this is the guy from Imagine India, look. And he's feeding the, uh, the seagulls. What a great place to live, eh? Oh wow, look, there's loads of them. There you go. The best fed seagulls in Lanzarote because they get naan bread from the Imagine India. And it's a great restaurant that is, if you want Indian. Oh, that one's a bit angry, look. That one's a bit peed off with something, look. Yeah, that's me, that is. That's definitely, that's definitely a Mr. Travel On seagull. Have you been to Gran Castillo? I started the live in Gran Castillo. That's where I started. Um, what's the weather like in June? So if you're asking sort of what the weather's like in any month, it's hard for me to say because the weather can change. Um, so all I do every morning, between, on Monday, Monday to Fridays, I do an update on the weather. The only thing you can do is watch that and keep a close eye on what the weather's gonna be like. Because I can't tell you what the weather's gonna be like in June, end of June, middle of June, July, August. Usually the answer is, yeah, it's really nice, it's hot. That's usually, but then it could rain that week. Very rarely does it rain for a whole week but you might get a couple of days of rain. So the last thing I want to do is say it's going to be great. And then you come out and it's crap and you'll be like, that Mr. Travel On is full of it. <laughs> There's Yum Yum's look. That's a very popular place um, for sort of cocktails, coffee, cake, and stuff like that. And we're, all, we're, we're, all, we're already at the harbour. So this has took us 60 minutes, an hour. So we've been walking for an hour. That's not too bad. And I reckon we've got another hour to go. I'm looking at the battery on, my little camera 
for the YouTubers and it's looking like it's gonna go so let's see if I can plug this in one sec see if that's gonna get a bit of a charge on there oh, maybe I'm gonna have to get the battery pack out maybe let's have a look it might last so this is gorgeous it's a lovely place to come and this is a uh, a lot of people use this as a beach area because there's no sand if you don't like sand there's a couple of pebble beachy areas now it's not really a beach but if you prefer to have a little dip in the sea and you don't like sand it's quite ideal because you can just whack down a little chair there and you can be in and out the water uh, I'm in Lanzarote right now fabulous hope you're having a lovely time so I might have to get something out of my bag in a minute and that's going to be a mission because I've got to stop so walking through here look you're coming into the harbour area so this is the harbour and then we're going to see loads of hotels in a minute as well and you'll see some restaurants as well just uh, just through here I'm wondering if that's charging or not it could very well be I think it might be I'm just talking to myself sorry guys just making sure that camera is going uh, coming start of July can't wait fabulous I'm at THB tropical beautiful hotel big hotel that reminds me of and I, I, I always say this but don't take this as a as an insult to the hotel but the tropical island reminds me of butlins but a nice butlins you know <laughs> a five-star butlins because it's like little communities around the hotel it's like little little sort of sections and apartments all around the big pool area and loads of different entertainment venues and stuff like that so it's one of them places but it's nothing like butlins <laughs> there's the fred olsen I, I'm, I'm coming to the, to the princess yes i am do you live there yes i do morning from belfast good morning we're in now we're in the harbor of playa blanca and this is where you get the ferries over so let me tell you about the ferries ferries are really simple go on our website travelon.world excursionslanzarote.com you can book ferry tickets only you can book ferry with bus pickup from Porto del Carmen and Costa de Guise and um, so they'll come and pick you up take you down here you'll get on the ferry you'll go over to Fuerteventura for the day have some free time and then you'll be brought back and back to your hotel or the other option is a full tour where again they'll pick you up bring you down here hop over to the ferry and then you'll be guided on a tour around Fuerteventura and that's on all our website travelon.world excursionslanzarote.com and you can use the code webdis and you'll get a discount there you go this is La Cofradia we had a massive uh, lunch here the other day and I filmed it it's on our YouTube Buena dia, todo bien? <laughs> on our YouTube um, so we ate there we had loads of fish loads of fish but so if you're looking for and this will please that man that was moaning about me mentioning Burger King this if you want traditional Spanish food that place is you couldn't get much more traditional than that uh, I'm coming to Lanzarote playing uh, Beatrice Spies lovely so this is the company that we use Linus Romero because it's a foot passenger ferry and it's made specially for tourists so it's the best one are you going to Iberia Star? yes Jody. I am walking all the way to Faro Park as Trick, Trick Path just said well, I'm not I'm walking all the way to the lighthouse I am walking back Mrs Travelon's gonna have to come and pick me off but I'm walking all the way there you can see my favorite fish and chips in Popeye's sports bar at the top there they do the best fish and chips in Playa Blanca by far and that's Popeyes also a sports bar really good value for money have special offers on cheap beer um, I think they do happy hour for like three hours really cheap and that's Popeyes there look go and see Michelle tell her Mr Travelon sent you and she will look after you for sure and then around this area as well just gonna come around here you got some other little places also so you've got a nice little cafe on the corner now the corner cafe and then you've also got a little sort of crepe waffles and stuff like that and they do little kebabs and all sorts in that place there rbs 
there we go look and they do a happy hour as well and then we're coming up to the irish anvil the irish anvil is lovely right i've just got to plug this other camera in so give me one second don't go anywhere i've got to get something out of my bag and plug this bloody thing in one second where can i put you i'm going to put you on this wall here while i get charged off one minute i'm not charging the phone so you're all right i'm just charging here so i'm just going to pop you on here you can have a little nose at the irish anvil oh, while i just get something out of my bag so irish anvil is great for breakfast it does one of the best breakfasts in Playa Blanca, in my opinion. Um, huge breakfasts, and the mushrooms are to die for. <laughs> That's the only reason I go there, for the mushrooms. Let's just make sure this is charged. Yep, we've got full power on there. I'm going to plug that in here. I'm going to unplug this. give me battery yes we've got battery and that can go there right i tell you what guys i've got so much camera equipment here it's ridiculous and the only thing that runs out when we do these lives is the batteries not my legs which is uh surprising because i'm getting on a bit now i'm 45 years old and do you know what i actually didn't realize how old i was because i went and weighed myself in the pharmacy with my eldest jack and he asked how old you were and I said I'm 43 and he went no you're 45 so I put two I lost three kilos but I put two years on <laughs> gutted absolutely gutted right I'm back let's go so Irish Anvil there for breakfast great place to get a brekkie and Popeyes for your fish and chips and on the top of there you've got the curry house as well and the curry house is one of the best Indians in Playa Blanca. I've done a full video on there as well. Again, they're all on the YT channel. Now here is the new harbour area, look. So you've got this big white building that they built. They built this big white building here. And it was meant to be for, San uh, for cruise ships, but they've never done it. But they've just opened this walkway here so you can walk all the way along there and around the, the harbour. And it's well worth uh, going around that way. And having a little look and get you around here all right let's have a look oh my god you're near the floresta i'm not near the floresta yeah i passed arabella's ages ago morning mate how are you you're right mm. morning you're mate right, how are you okay. you're right okay we watch your videos do on you YouTube all the time. you're on uh yeah. TikTok now and then you'll be on youtube later oh. I'm Charlie from Talking England. Charlie from Talking England. Where are you stopping? Um, K Beach, son. No, any good? It's okay. Some people were asking on here about that. Yeah, it's fine. It's yeah. really clean, nice. Yeah. Pool's nice. Brilliant. People are nice. Plenty of pubs nearby. Good lad, Charlie. Done, I think I've done every pub here. Yes. Okay, Is that where you're going now, to the pub? No, nah, just. We just, we're just going to walk out to the lighthouse. That's where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what, and had breakfast over here. Uh, Brilliant. Have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Cheers. See you later, mate. There you go. Good old Charlie. Uh, going to play Blanca in July. I'm coming next week. Is it hot? Yes, it is. It's beautiful weather. And we're still going. Look, we're still going. Everything's charged up. We're rocking and rolling. <sighs> Uh, I'm going to Costa Calero in June. Costa Calero is beautiful. My mum's in Costa de Guise, coming to play Blanca. Brilliant. What's the weather? Weather today is gorgeous. Morning. Blue skies. It's hot. It's roasting. It's about 26, 25, 20, 24, 26 at the moment, I reckon. So excited to come in Alba. Where is Hotel Alba? Just up the road from here. Uh, whereabouts are you in Lanzo? I'm in Playa Blanca. We fly to Lanzo tomorrow. Fabulous. Have an amazing time. Don't forget, if you need anything, you can private message me here. And um, there's a discount code for all your excursions. Web, W-E-B-D-I-S. Write that down. Um, and visit our website, travelon.world, excursionslanzarotti.com. And you'll be able to get a discount on all your trips, tours and excursions. And you do need to book them in advance because it's getting busy. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit of inside information. From, uh, from Tuesday, I think it's Tuesday, 
Well, there's a few things that you've got to be aware of this week. Tuesday is a coach strike. Now, it's not going to affect... It might affect you at the airport if you're booked with TUI or anything like that. Um, it might affect you if you need a taxi because there'll be a lot of people getting taxis because there'll be less buses. So there is a coach strike and they're going to do it every Wednesday and Saturday until they get what they want. Now, it will cause disruption, but it won't affect too much of your holiday. It'll only affect getting to the airport and getting back and stuff like that. Um, what it'll mean for excursions, it'll mean that they'll be spread, they'll, they'll be uh, concentrated into a couple of days. So this is why you need to book in advance because the tours, whereas before they might have had six buses, they'll only have two or three, so everyone will book it. So make sure to book in advance all your trips, your tours, especially over the next couple of weeks. It's not gonna last that long, don't worry, uh, but there is a coach strike. Then on Saturday, the 20th, is the Ironman. So all the main roads will be closed for the Ironman. Um, so again, this week is vital if you wanna do bus tours, anything like that, to get yourself booked in early because it's gonna be chaotic this week for the buses. Little inside information, but like I said, go to travelon.world, excursionslanzarotti.com. You can book it there and you can get a discount with the code WEBDIS. Have you ever been to, are you walking past the Elba? No, I'm not walking past the Elba because that's a little bit further back. But this is the Iberostar. Star. So this is the Iberostar Star Lanzarote Park. And I tell you what, it's gorgeous. Is Mind Hotel nice? Yeah, go onto my YouTube. I've done a full video there. I'll stop there. Have you ever been to Porto del Carmen? Loads of times. Uh, Hotel Elba, I'm doing a video there next week, I promise. Promise, promise, promise. It's about 26 degrees. Timofire Palace coming up soon. So this is the Iberostar Star Lanzarote Park. Big, big hotel, massive place. Uh, great for families. It's got different areas. So you've got like your family area here, look, with a massive sort of kids pool area. Then you've got another place a little bit further on. This, this walk along here, I mean, it's gonna take me a bit to show you this hotel because it's so big. It's a big place. And the food here is meant to be amazing. So there's a little tip for you on the Iberostar Star player, uh, Iberostar Star Lanzarote Park. So look, we're still going, look, it's huge. And it's still got around the corner to go yet. Yeah? Are the water parks good in Playa Blanca? Yeah, there's two water parks. There's one in Playa Blanca called Aqualava, and that's a smaller one, ideal for sort of smaller kids. And then you've got the big one in Costa de Guise. Now the big one in Costa de Guise is better for big kids sort of 10 plus. But the big one in Costa de Guise is very old and run down. Well, no, it's not run down, but it's very old. It's not like your, it's not like your Siam Park or places like that. Uh, it needs a little bit of a facelift in my opinion, but it's still loads of fun, but it's got rides for the bigger kids. But the one down here in Playa Blanca is, is new, very modern, very, very nice. And it's got a wave pool and great for smaller kids. So here we go, we're still on bloody Lanzarote Park here, look. Iberostar. Star, still there. This is how big this hotel is. There you go, look, people setting up for the day. Morning. There you go, people setting up for the day, look, getting their sunbeds ready, because it's gonna be a glorious one and it's a lovely place. So you see, you've got the, the kids area there, then this is, this is more of an adults area. There's still kids allowed in this area. And a little bit further up, you've got another privileged area as well. It's absolutely massive. Have you ever been to Rancho Texas? Yep, Rancho Texas is probably the number one attraction in Lanzarote. It's the number one thing to do in Lanzarote by far. And Rancho Texas is an animal park, but You've got loads of shows, sea lion shows, bird of prey shows, um, dolphin shows. You've got big um, like walk through caves, all interactive with videos and stuff like that. And you've got a water park there as well. Morning. So you've got a water park there as well. And uh, it's, it's really good. It's one of the best days out. Value for money wise, it's 36 euros. There's a free bus pickup. It's, uh, it's just a great day. You have to go to Rancho, Texas. And again, go on our website, excursionslanzarotti.com, travelon.world, use the code WEBDIS. You get yourself a cheeky little discount and we'll send you all your pickup information um, if you need a pickup or we'll tell you where to go, where to be.
and it's a great day. Um, we're still on the blooming Lanzarote Park here, look. I told you it was a big hotel, look. Massive, look at the size of it. It's huge. So we've been walking for 80 minutes <laughs> and we're not far from the lighthouse, look, I can see it. I can see it over there, look, can you see it? And that's where we're walking to. I said I was gonna do this, it's not that much of a walk, to be honest. 80 minutes so far, I reckon we've got another <laughs> I'm going to say 30 minutes but it's definitely going to be longer than that 45 minutes maybe someone there rented a villa rather than a hotel yeah again villa holidays are great um because you get everything you need I like a villa holiday I like the uh I like the well I do and I don't I like the hotel feel to be honest um but only for a couple of days because you, you can get bored of going down to the buffet can't you um and having to eat at a certain time. Whereas if you've got your own villa, you've got your own pool, you don't have to worry about, um, well, you don't have to worry about other people. So that's why I like it. But I do like to go to hotels for a couple of days. And uh, I've just done Tenerife and did six different hotels and I filmed every single one of them. Morning. And there's the beach, look. So this is Playa Flamingo Beach. This is another famous beach in Playa Blanca. And this is very popular. Again, a man-made beach where you can see people are getting ready for the day and it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous beach down here. Well worth coming down. And it's not far from a couple of the big family hotels, Lanza Sur, Playa Flamingo and the Rio as well. So it's really well located and it's a really popular place to come down. There you go. Play of Flamingo, it's gorgeous, isn't it? What a day, look. Look at that, look at the sky. Beautiful. Play of Flamingo, stayed there last year. We're just gonna come past that hotel now. Uh, do you have to pre-book excursions online? Yes, I just said about that if you uh, missed it. There's gonna be a coach strike this week um, for a couple of days. And um, don't panic too much, but um, especially in the summer, boat trips are going to be so busy. So you need to book in advance. It's going to be a crazy summer again. I reckon it's going to be the last crazy summer and then I don't like to be negative, but I think summit's going to pop, isn't it? <laughs> the world's in a bit, of a, a bit of a dilemma at the moment. So I reckon this could be the last summer holidays for some. <laughs> don't, don't judge me on that or take that as gospel. I hope it's not for, for all of our sakes, but summit's got to pop. The world's gone crazy. Um, it well, depends if the cost of living comes down as well. Yeah, good morning. How are you? You all right? All right, mate. Yeah. Yeah, where are you stopping? Uh, we're at Villa up in uh, Vista Lobos. Vista, oh, yeah. very posh, very posh. You having a good holiday? Yeah, good, mate. We're You're on live now to about a thousand people okay. on TikTok. <laughs> and then it'll be posted on, it'll be posted on YouTube as well. See you later. Have a good day. See you soon. There you go. Family staying at a villa up there. Where's Princess Yiza? We passed Princess Yiza before. You got Paradise Island, that's a nice family hotel. Three star. Is it three or four star? Might be four star Paradise. Um, but yes, yeah, a nice family hotel, very popular. And then you've got all your places here, look. You can come and get some um, fresh caught fish, look. <laughs> fresh caught fish. Is that spelt right? That don't look right to me. Is it spelt right? <laughs> I've never seen it. I've never seen them advertised like that. But the, they must get the rods out, look, and, and get it from there, and then they'll serve it you on your plate. And then you've got paellas, you've got food and drink in there. You've got a little supermarket as well, which is handy for you. Just there. And some nice little tavernas and places like that to eat and drink. I'm in Playa Blanca Lanzarote at the Playa Flamingo. It's getting busy now, look, everyone's out for the morning walks. There's a taverna, nice little place, look. Beautiful views. Is Secrets good? Yep, yeah, Secrets is lovely. Again, I've done a full full video on Secrets uh, and I saw somebody's room as well. Uh, Jake showed me around the room. So that's uh, on the YouTube channel as well. Izzy's been here, fabulous. So this is the Tui Blue Flamingo Beach Hotel here. Very popular family hotel with Tui. Um, and it's like little apartments, look. 
I'm not going to go up there today, but I will do a full video of there soon. Soon, soon, soon. Oh, right, here we go. This is going to be up a hill now. The first hill of the walk. So you can see, if you've got walking difficulties, this is the first hill for 80 minutes all the way from the Sandus Papagayo that we've had to walk and it's barely a hill, let's face it. It's not much, is it? You're near our lock. <laughs> Nicola, I am not going lock hunting today. However, I will tell people about it. Look, here is where you put your love locks. Right there and you get beautiful views as well. As I'm on a mission, I ain't gonna stop there. But I've showed you in many videos of that place there. Lighthouse is just up there, look. We're not far. How was your trip to the other island? Brilliant, I've got loads of editing to do on Tenerife. Loads. So, you'll be able to see. This is gonna be a long old video on YouTube, isn't it? I wonder who would watch this all the way through. If you've watched it this far, drop me a comment on YouTube on the catch up. <laughs> or if you wanna catch up on this and you wanna see where we've been, or maybe you were spotted or whatever, it's gonna be on YouTube later today. It'll take me a few hours for it to upload it because it's a long video. And this is what we do. We do the live on TikTok and then we post the video on YouTube because I'm filming at the same time. Good morning, you all right? So this is the um, H10 Tim and Fire Palace. And this is adults only and it's beautiful. Wait till you see this place. Wait until you see this place, it's gorgeous. Yes, I am going past Rubicon Palace as well. I'm going all the way to the bloody lighthouse. Hi from Northern Ireland, good morning, Sharon. I watch from 9.20, <laughs> bloody hell, Charlotte. Get up, you need to get up and get, get moving. No, I'm not, there's not much longer, Charlotte, not much longer. And then we're getting to the lighthouse. Uh, so this is H10, Tim and Fire, look. What a place. What a place, adults only. H10 hotels are by far some of the best hotels in the world. I love the brand H10. I stopped in there, the Big Sur in Tenerife. That was gorgeous. One of my favorite hotels is Marina. Uh, morning, mate. Hello, mate. Is Rubicon Palace. Um, so it's gorgeous, look. And what I like about this part in Playa Blanca is you get to know that everything that's going on in these hotels. So even if you're not stopping in them, you can come down and have a nose. Look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Have you been to Salou? I went to Salou to go to the uh, the sort of um, Alton Towers over there. I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, I went there. It was, it was quite nice. It was out of season though. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful hotel. Fountain there, running into the pool. I would say that pool is probably heated. Maybe not. Don't know. Nobody's in it at the moment. But it's gorgeous, look. Wow indeed, Emily. It's beautiful, isn't it? Are you near Princess Yiza? We've passed Princess Yiza, Michael. Uh, we've walked all the way from Sandos Papagayo, right from the top, and we're going all the way to the lighthouse. First time I've done the whole walk. And I tell you what, with you lot keeping me company, it's easy. It's easy, because you don't think about it. You just head. And I'm always yapping, aren't I? I don't shut my mouth, so it goes quick. But look at that. Let's get you over there, look. Got a beautiful pool bar area there. And that's the H10 Tim and Fire Palace. Adults only, no kids. So that is ideal. How are you getting home? Mrs. Travelon's gonna pick me up for sure. <clears throat> She's definitely gonna pick me up. <laughs> I'm back, just back from Porto del Carmen. Have you stopped at Rio Perada? I was there now. Um, Club Player Blanca, yeah, Club Player Blanca's not far from here. Um, walking wise, probably half an hour. And Club Player Blanca has just built a, a brand new gym that's open to the public. But whilst it's a lovely gym with great equipment in there, it's 60 euros a month. 60 euros a month, that's a lot of money. There's no pool, no steam room. I think 60 is too much. No classes, 
So uh, I use Garage Gym, which is quite a good one. And that's only 35 a month. And then you've got Finchy Fitness as well, which is a bit further down for all your classes and stuff like that. If you're on holiday and you wanna to go to the gym. There's Montagna Rocca. Morning, you all right? Montagna Rocca, there, look. And that is a great walk. If you wanna walk up a mountain, there's a really easy, well, not easy, but not too bad um, path that'll lead you right up to the top of Montagna Rocca. You get some amazing views up there and it's well worth a visit. It's well worth walking up there, 100%. Tropical island going there in August, you'll love it, Lily. Um, I want to live there. It's all right living here, don't get me wrong. It's better than living in England. Um, but it can get a bit boring. It can get, you do get what's called island cabin fever. Um, I actually, I actually quite enjoyed getting away to Tenerife for a bit. And I'm actually going to England soon as well, just for a few days. Um, but what I find about Lanzarote is there's not a lot to do, which is great if you're coming on holiday, but if you've lived here sort of 20 years, you've sort of done everything and there's not much to do, if that makes sense. You can go to the beach, you can go to the pool, you can do that. But apart from that, apart from sort of sightseeing and stuff like that, there's not a lot to do, which is why I like doing these videos. But especially if you've got kids as well, um, when they, they need to get to a certain age and then they can head off downtown with their mates and that, which, uh, which is good. It's a very safe place to live. Where I'm from England, I'm from Birmingham in England. This guy's going fishing for the day, look. So there's a few fishermen here, look. Getting ready for the day, morning. He's gone down there to have a little fish. Uh, going to Paradise Island in July, does anyone know if the food's okay? Mixed reviews. Um, I've actually eaten in the Paradise Island, it's not too bad, it's hotel food. It's not the best hotel food, but it's not like terrible. You'll find something to eat there for sure. But hotel food's hotel food, isn't it? Now I went, when I was over in Tenerife, I did six different hotels. Every single one, the food was, was good. Um, but obviously, the lower the star rating, the more basic the food is. So you hire sort of four and five stars, like really good sort of buffet food. Um, four, three to four star is basic, but still nice. But food's food, you know? Food is food. When you're on holiday, you only need it to keep you going. That's it, and I find if, the, uh, if you eat too much, which is the problem in stopping in hotels and all inclusive, if you eat too much, you find yourself feeling like really tired. So it's best to keep it light anyway. That's just my opinion. But I do like a good all inclusive, especially if you've got kids. So should you book all inclusive? Should you book self catering? Should you book villa holidays? Uh, should you book half board, full board? What should you do? Well, here's my little rundown. If you want, if you don't like people, <laughs> if you don't like people and you're an unsociable git, just like me, get yourself in a villa or an apartment. You can cook for yourself. You can do your own thing. You can eat when you want. You can get around the pool when you want. You can do what you want. Whereas in a hotel, you're set to certain times, breakfast, dinner, lunch. Um, if you've got kids, I'd certainly recommend a hotel, all inclusive, um, rather than eating out and about because it's quite difficult to decide what you want, where you want to go, and if the kids don't like the food, it's a waste of money. Um, so I'd definitely go all-inclusive if I had kids, sort of younger kids, anything sort of up to 10, 11, 12 years old. Because um, all-inclusive, they want ice creams, go and get one. They want a burger, go and get one. They want anything, go and get one. Easy, keeps you calm, keeps you nice and relaxed. If you've got older kids, then you can obviously get yourself out and about and eat and drink and stuff like that. Um, and then what else is there? So you've got villa holidays if you want your own pool and you don't want to worry about people reserving some beds. Um, you've got sort of self-catering apartments, loads of them in Puerto del Carmen. Great if you just want to cook food, you know? If you, if you just want to cook something nice and easy, bit of pasta, bacon sandwich, keep you going 
and you get yourself out cheap and cheerful that's an ideal way um, and then hotels if you don't drink a lot of alcohol or you don't drink alcohol then book um, bed and breakfast or um, where you can just have your breakfast and your dinner full board or half board breakfast and dinner is ideal um, if you're not a boozer and you don't want all-inclusive food and drinking you're going to get yourself out and about that's another ideal option if you like exploring you can get breakfast and dinner in the hotel um, you don't need the all-inclusive around the pool um, so you can have something to eat in the morning go out for the day relax chill out come back for your lunch go out again come back for your dinner that's my uh, top tips top tips for booking holidays but if you do like to overindulge drink too much and eat too much get on the all-inclusive and smash it <laughs> have you been to tropical island yes there's a full video on my youtube of tropical island anyone here fancy meeting for some drinks are you trying to chat some girls up here callum <laughs> they sent tinder they sent tinder <laughs> Uh, went to Rubicon last summer. We're heading up to Marina, Rubi uh, Marina Rubicon, to Rubicon Palace. We're not far. This walk, I tell you what, I thought it was going to kill me. It's not been a bad walk. So we're coming up to Natura Palace now. This is another beautiful hotel. Natura Palace is gorgeous. Uh, what I like about Natura Palace is the, um, all the flowers hanging off the balconies, which you'll see. A nice steakhouse in Playa Blanca. That Breezes Marinas is meant to be good for steak. So here you go. Look, this is Natura Palace. It's got a couple of little bungalow sort of type places there. I bet they're premium. And all of these beautiful pink flowers, look, hanging from the balconies. Right next to um, Montagna Rocca. It's a Hippotel Hotel. And you actually see the pool in a minute. He's with the Callum's, Callum's with the missus. Callum, you're with the missus and you're asking if anybody wants to meet you for a drink. God, missus travel on, I'd have me, I'd, I'd have me, uh, I'd have me locked in. She'd have me locked in. <laughs> so there you go, look, there's the Hippotel Natura there, look. They've got one of them little bungalows, but look at the rooms, look, with all the flowers hanging off. Beautiful. This is a four star, and this is a good four star as well. What you find with the star ratings when you're booking holidays, if you see a four star and it's cheap, trust me now, it's a three star. Um, to get the star ratings, the only thing you need in hotels is different things. Like if you've got a, a really, if you have a big hotel and it's got a conference room, that gives it an extra star. So what they tend to do is build a conference room. They never use it but it gives them that extra star. So if you're looking at four stars and five stars and they're dirt cheap, do your research first because you'll think, oh, four star, it's gonna be nice. It'll be a three star for sure. But this one is definitely a good four star, an amazing four star actually. Morning, you all right? You enjoying yourself? Fabulous. They're just sitting on the bench, look, having a look out. Some people sunbathing there, look. <laughs> And this is why, look, Blair Blank is great, because you can have a good old nose at people and see what they're doing. Natura Palace, that's the one. What one is this? This is Natura Palace, the Hippotel. So it's a four star, but a, 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 good, a really good four star, really good four star. But that's what I found. So again, another little uh, tip to booking your holiday. Again, especially when you're looking on sort of booking.com and them sort of websites, you know, they say it's four star. Now, me and Mrs. Travelon have, I always, I've done in the past, looked at a four star and thought, oh, that's cheap. And when you get there, you're like, this is no way four stars. You get what you pay for, basically. Um, just be aware of that. If you want a four star and you want a good four star, you, you have to pay that little bit extra. You know what they say? If it's too good to be true, then there you go. Like I stopped at the Gara Suites in Tenerife that was a four star but it was nothing like the other four stars that I stayed at and that wasn't even that cheap it was about it was about 30 euros per night cheaper than the rest so look at that and think if it's a, if it's 20 30 euros a night more it's going to be a better four star for sure there you go another little top tip 
is the Yaiza coming up? Uh, no, Princess Yaiza, we've done ages ago. We were back there ages ago. We're going in the other direction. Gone past it, Anna. But this will be posted on YouTube um, tonight and you can catch up on it. So it's probably about 30 minutes in you'll get to see the Princess Yaiza. 30, 40 minutes in. Because we've been walking for one hour and 56 seconds. Amazing. Best dive centre. Oh, this one, are you asking what the best dive centre is or are you saying this is the best dive centre? <laughs> There's a dive centre here. If you want to go diving, we have, um, we work with Atlant Atlantis, Atlantis Diving, and they come and pick you up and you can do one dive or two dives. And again, it's on our website, travelon.world, excursionslanzarotti.com. You can book it there and use that special discount code, WEBDIS. You get a little cheeky discount from me. Uh, we're going to a five star this year and I'm so excited. Seven pools, wow. That's lovely. I stopped at the Hard Rock in Tenerife. That was a five star. I'll tell you what, you do see the difference. Now I'm a tight git. Mrs. Travel on will tell you. I'm tight. I don't like overspending, but I did like the five star experience. Morning, how are you? Morning. You having a lovely walk? Yeah. Off, the, off the YouTube? Yeah, yeah I've seen you. Yeah, yeah brilliant. <laughs> You're going to be on YouTube, yeah? You're live at the moment to 851 people. <laughs> See you later. It's raining and cloudy back home. Harry said good morning. Morning, Harry, how are you? There we go, look, some people down there. This is another little beach down in Playa Blanca. Not a, not a golden sandy beach, but still a nice beach. You've got all these lovely little beaches that you can enjoy. And it's just nice to come out and have a walk. I think I need to get into beaching. I need, we don't go to the beach. I know it's, it's a criminal to say it, but I hate the beach. I can't stand the sand in my crevices. <laughs> Mrs. Travel On likes the beach. And the kids are sort of hit and miss. They don't mind going down there, but they can't be bothered with the, with the preparation of it all. So I'm, I don't know. I need to get back into going to the beach, I think. It's one of them, isn't it? Beaches, you either love it or hate it. It's like Marmite. I'm not sure. What are you guys like? If you're a beach lover, put the word beach. If you're a non-beach lover, put the word no sand. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not a beach lover, to be honest. The sand drives me bloody insane. Lucy loves the sand. Oh, we've all no sand leads, look. No sand, Louise. Beach. <laughs> Charlie, no sand, but beach. Or you see the ladies are all beachers. Some of the men are like, no chance. So, was walking there last August, no sand, look. The problem with the beach is you get sand everywhere and it don't go away for days. Then it's all in your house, then it's in your car. Then it's in your pants. <laughs> no sand. We stayed at Rubicon every year. Well, so we're at the famous H10 Rubicon Palace. Look, I can see somebody waving over there. Somebody's waving. Are you watching us? How are you doing? Are you having a good time? Yeah. Fabulous, look. There, there you go. Where are you, st are you stopping up this end? Yeah, yeah. Fab. Nice hotel? Beautiful. So there you go. They're at the H10 Rubicon Palace. Nice to see you. See you later. So they're at the Rubicon, look. And the Rubicon Palace is gorgeous. This is a five star. Um, and it's a H10 again. Like I said, my favorite hotels are H10. The food here is meant to be amazing. I have done a full walk around here and I've got all the footage and I just need to edit it. But I have done a video on the YouTube of this place here called Despacio. And this is the spa. So they've got a lovely spa area here. And uh, you can sort of stop in this. You can use this open to the public. So they've got like a, a um, what's it called? A like, um, I can't think of the word. Salasso spa or something where you go around the pool and use the different jets and bubbles and stuff like that. So you can use that. It's open to the public. I think it's about 15, 20 euros. Might be 24 can't remember but you can use it how are you, Good, are, you are you using the spa is it nice yeah, is it warm yeah. 
Fabulous. Have a lovely time, all right? There you go. They're using the spiral. So that's the uh, H10 Rubicon Palace. Probably my number one hotel on the island. I love it. It's massive. It's like a little village inside there. You've got so many different places to explore. Morning. Morning. And it's just a huge place. How hot is it? Debs, it's about 26 at the moment. 25, 24, I don't know. I can't see on my phone because I'm, I'm filming for you. <laughs> there you go, look. So you come out the back door there, look. And you're right on the walkway. And there's also rooms. Oh, I'm wobbling a bit there. There's also rooms there, look, that overlook these beautiful views as well. Look at that, Fuerteventura over there, low bus. Hope you're keeping hydrated. Well, I am. Do you know what I've got? I've got one of them sad little tubes that come out the back of my backpack. And I have a little sip. That's how sad I am. <laughs> I've got to take it proper serious now, you know, my big walks. I bought a backpack. I bought a drink thing. I'm ready to rock and roll, I tell you. All I need now is them, uh, them sticks that the Germans use. The Germans always use sticks to walk wherever they go. Wherever they go. It doesn't even matter if they're going to the shop. They've got the walking sticks. Click, 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 click. They love it. And it used to be the Germans would wear socks with sandals. But do you know what I've spotted? And maybe if there's some younger ones on here, is the youth, the youth of today. Now, back in my day, if, you, if you're sort of my age, back in my day, if you wore white socks, people would rip you for it. They'd call you white socks, you'd be, you'd be ripped. If you wore socks with, with sandals, you'd be ripped even more. Now, all the youth are out wearing sliders with socks. Can someone explain to me how that is not? How it's gone from being sad to cool. What do you reckon? Sliders and socks, come on. I know the world has gone mad, but I mean, it's just ridiculous. Justin Bieber started that fashion. Well, there you go. <laughs> I say no more. It drives me mad. Sliders and socks, because the kids are cool. <laughs> but they're not cool, are they? Back in the day, back in my day, white socks was a no-no. You'd wear them for sports and that's it. And if you wore white socks as a man, even with your trainers, if there was a little bit of white socks, you'd be called a, well, it rhymes with boat anchor. You'd be called one of them <laughs> and that would be it. And now it's cool. Get your sliders on, put your socks on and look ridiculous. So we're still at H10 Rubicon Palace here, look. So it goes all the way down here. And these are some of the premium rooms up this end. Um, and these have got their own little private pool as well. Sort of, like it's a, a privileged pool. Oh yeah, Mrs. Travelon said furry sliders as well. That's another thing I'm spotting with the youth. The females of the youth are actually wearing, well, it basically looks like your nan's slippers. And they're walking down Porta del Carmen, essentially in furry, sliders which look like slippers the world has gone crazy it really has either i'm getting too old or i'm right what do you reckon <laughs> nan's slippers yeah exactly jeez furry slippers and socks with sliders i mean the world's gone bloody crazy hasn't it anyway let's get back to business this is a lovely little place here look but um it's a little sort of bar that overlooks this lovely beach here look so you can come down you can have something to eat and drink here and they do sort of typical canarian food they do nice paella and stuff like that and it's not too badly priced as well a little gold mine in my opinion and if you need the public loo because it's one thing player blank is lacking is a public toilet there is a public toilet there but you either have to be eating and drinking in that restaurant or you have to pay a euro but if you need it, got a Euros. A Euros a lot for the toilet, isn't it? But there you go. I suppose they have to clean it and they're sick of people using it that, haven't, that aren't um, sh uh, buying anything in the bar. So I do understand it. Um, where are you this morning? I'm in Playa Blanca, look. So this is a little beach. I'm not sure if this beach is part of the 
hotel just behind me, which I'm going to show you in a minute, the Royal Monica. And I'll tell you about the Royal Monica. And Mrs. Travelon's going to pick me up from the Royal Monica once I uh, once I've finished, for sure. <laughs> Mrs. Travelon's gonna come and get me. Not long, Mrs. Travelon, you may as well get your furry slippers on and get ready to come and pick me up. Get the kids ready in their crocs and their slides and their socks and uh, you'll be picking me up in a minute, please. <laughs> so these are little private peaches here, part of the Royal Monica Hotel, look. Good morning, you all right? <laughs> The lads are chilling, look. You having a good time? Oh, yeah. You're on live at the moment to a thousand people. You, you got the beers out, the, the beers out all the moment. But where are you? Are you stopping here? Yeah. This is part of the hotel, no? Yeah. So this is the little beach for this hotel? Yeah. Oh, wow. And is it free or do you have to? Wow, that's brilliant. We'll have a good day, lads, all right? Get them beers down you. Birmingham. There you go. See, he's, he's from Birmingham, like he's chilling. That's what we do. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Have a good one, all right? So there you go, look, you can use them places from the stopping at the Royal Monica. I wonder if you could just use them if you were just uh, not stopping at the Royal Monica. Bet you could. But they're probably to uh, check you. Right, so this is Royal Monica. Um, very popular with French. French people love this hotel. Now, don't be deceived by the look of it. It doesn't look much, does it? And it's not much. It's a little bit run down. It was the last one to open after COVID. Um, it could definitely do with a lick of paint and a face facelift, but it's dirt cheap. Um, it's basic. It's three star. But I mean, look at that. If you're stopping in them places right by the beach, for the price, it's worth it for that. Um, so it's one of them. It's cheap and cheerful. Morning, how are you? You all right? Morning. Nice to meet you. I'll shake you with that hand because I'm holding this hand. Where are you staying? Uh, we live here. You live here? Yeah. Fabulous, so do I. You having a nice time? Loving it. Yeah, you're out for a little walk. walk? That's the way forward. Watch the football later. There you go. Have a good time, all right? Enjoy your day. Bye. See you later. Bye, Bye mate. Bye. There you go, loads of people living here and having a walk. Anyway, what I was saying, look, uh, there is the Royal Monica. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit old and run down. Definitely could do with a lick of paint, but cheap, cheerful, great views. And if you just want somewhere to stop and you can use them little beaches, look, the little beaches where the lads were having a drink, definitely the way forward. Um, someone's asking if it's windy. Do you know what? The wind has died down. If it gets any lower than this, I'm gonna go out droning later. We're in Lanzarote, we're in Playa Blanca. And we're heading to the lighthouse. We've almost done the lighthouse. In fact, we've, we've done it. We're gonna pass Kamezi Villas in a minute. I'll show you that. Painted white would transform the place. Yeah, I reckon. Imagine the amount of bloody paint you'd need on that. <laughs> so we've only done 12,000 steps. Not too bad, eh? 12,000 steps and we're nearly at the lighthouse. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. We're on 114 minutes. So that is not a bad walk and I cannot believe that the batteries have lasted for this long. Although I am charging the camera. Um, but we're almost done it, haven't we? Are you going to the THB Tropical Island? No, not today. Uh, I'm in Tenerife, fabulous. Tenerife's lovely. I stayed in that room there, oh wow. Like I said, the rooms and that and the hotel, it's a three star, but I mean, with the views and the price, it's really good value for money. Really good value for money. How far are you from Barcelo Active? Miles away, it's in Costa de Guise. 25 days till somebody arrives, fabulous. Temperature, how you made about 25? Are you near Rubicon Villas? Uh, no, past them ages ago. What's the weather like in Jan? Usually nice. We'll be there in end of August for two weeks. August is great, very hot. Get ready for the weather. And we're gonna come up to the Kamezi Villas now. They're here, very posh restaurant that does like a taster menu, um, super posh. Um, and the Kamezi Villas are some of the best villas in Playa Blanca. Um, they've got their own pools and they're just, it's like a, it's like a holiday 
complex with loads of different uh, small villas. So it's well nice, well nice. Ever been to Rio Paraiso? Yeah, I've got to get back there and do a video there soon. Have you seen Milne? Have you seen what? Have you seen the Milne Road <laughs> windows van? Yeah, I have, Neil. I know Milne Road windows very well. I know Richard from Milne Road windows. He's a good mate of mine, actually. So yeah, Milne Road windows, yeah. They do all your windows and stuff. They're a big window company in Lanzarote. Very famous. Um, it's funny what people spot, isn't it? <laughs> He's my mate. Yeah, Rich is great, Neil. Tell him you know Dave. He'll, uh, he'll know exactly who you're talking about. Uh, have you visited Lanzarote Princess and what, what's your opinion? Yeah, Lanzarote Princess is lovely. I've done a video again on my YouTube channel where somebody showed me around the Lanzarote Princess and showed me a room. So have a look on the uh, YouTube channel and you'll be able to see it. Are you near Los Ocos? No, I'm in Playa Blanca today, the other end of the island. What camera are you using? I'm using iPhone 14 Pro as the live and then I've got a DJI Pocket 3 or 2, Pocket 2 because the 3 is not out, um, recording for, um, for uh, YouTube. And there you go. You've got you've to invest in your good cameras if you're going to do this properly. When's the hottest in Lanzarote? August. Always in the summer. Staying at Kamezi from Tuesday. Well, here you go, Nicola. Here is Kamezi. So this is Kamezi. It's like little villas in there. It's not, no point in me going in because you can't see anything. But this place here, look, I can get over the wall. This is the restaurant. So this is the deli and bistro. This is open to the public. You can book a table here. They do like a tasting menu where you get like these little dishes. Very posh. Certainly not something I'm into. Um, but if you're a foodie and you like that sort of, sort of pompous stuff, um, definitely, definitely come and try this because it's like mega famous. Um, and you can see these little white things, these domes. You can sort of uh, chill out on this. I'm going to show you them because I can actually get a little view here. I'll just watch the cactus, look. So there's big cactuses here. Well, I was going to say I can get a view. They've planted all these cactuses. Here we go. There's a little gap here, look. So let me climb up here. Hoppa! Things I do for you. So look at that. That's the restaurant there. So you can get a really nice, <laughs> a really nice, uh, like, taster menu there. It's all your posh food, you know, where they put petals on your dinner and stuff like that. I say it how it is, you know. Some people like it, some people don't. For me, I just like easy food. I just like something to put in my gob. But I do, I would, I would come here and, um, and try all the different food. Probably wouldn't be happy paying for it because <laughs> I'm tight. But look, it's gorgeous. You pay for what you get, don't you? If you like to sit in the, that sort of type of place, and you're like a little bit of posh grub, you can't go wrong. Maybe I'll do a video there one day. <laughs> Maybe I'll get down there, do a video. You can see me eating my pompous grub. So there's the lighthouse. Can you see the lighthouse? So um, that's what we said. We, we, we set ourselves a challenge, didn't we, to walk to the lighthouse and bloody hell, we've only gone and done it. We've only done 12,600 steps and they say, Hello. morning. Hello, mate, how are you? What's about yourself? I've walked all the way from Santos Papagayo. Oh, God. I'm on a mega walk. Good man. Have you, walked all, have you been up there? Yeah. Absolutely, we have. Are you on holiday? Yeah. We are. It's last day today. Last day. Last day. Yeah. Where are you stopping? We become Palace. It's a top hotel, isn't it? See, yeah. I keep telling everyone on it. You're live at the moment to 900 people. Hello at oh, home. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see my videos on YouTube or TikTok or? Oh, Brilliant. Oh, <laughs> fabulous. Lovely to meet you. What's Andy. your name? Michael. Michael and? Karen. Michael and Karen. Lovely to meet you both. Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thank, you. Thank you very much. And uh, you're going back home today? Back yeah. home today, yes. Never mind. A safe journey. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. See you later. Bye -bye. And you. Bye, bye, bye. There you go. They're stopping at the Rubicon Palace. So don't take my word for it that the Rubicon Palace is nice. They just said it's gorgeous. So there you go. And that's what I like to do. So if you come into Lanzarote, and you're gonna let me have a little nose around your room. Those are some of my favorite videos because it means I can come, have a little wander around the hotel, do a video on the hotel, and then I can sit and talk to you. You don't have to be in the video if you don't want to, but you can just let me have a little nose around your room, do a video on it, so that everyone back home can see what holidays are like. Because 
the last thing you want is just this knobhead brummy walking around saying this hotel's nice this hotel's nice because i think everything's nice so you can get a real view of people on holiday and they'll tell you whether it's nice or not dave, dave is mrs travel on getting you now <laughs> don't know mark i haven't i haven't given the word yet because i'm not really officially at the lighthouse till i reach the end of this road and then i'll turn back and mrs travel on can pick me up from the entrance of the Royal Monica and I'll walk through it. So, Mrs. Travelon, stand by. She keeps asking you. <laughs> See, she, just Mrs. Travelon, chill your beans. I'll be at the, go, you can go to the entrance of the, uh, of the Royal Monica. Pick me up there. Pick me up there. Once I get to the end of this path, look, where them people are at the end, I'm gonna turn back and go in to the uh, Royal Monica. There you go. Thanks, Mark. You've been Mrs. Travelon's favourite person today. <laughs> See, just like on TikTok, I don't listen to her in real life either. Morning, how are you? Great. You out for a morning walk? Yeah, oh, we're going live. We've walked all the way today yeah, from Sandos Papagayo. Yeah, yeah. Fabulous. Where are you staying? In the Rubicon Palace. Rubicon Palace again. Yeah. Nice. nice. Fabulous. There you go. See? Fabulous. The old TikTok. Well, uh, this will be on YouTube, so you'll be live. Well, you're live on TikTok and then it's recorded on YouTube. So I'm going to put it up there. And if you fast forward about one, one hour, well, 122 minutes, you'll be on there. Yeah, what's that's a good what's your names? Mark. Mark, uh, Ursa. Mark and Ursula from Dublin. From Dublin yeah. Fabulous. Well, look, you have an, enjoy the rest of your holiday, all right? Yes, I'll see you later. Yeah. Have a good one. See you soon. Right, we're nearly there, look. We're nearly there. You can see that lighthouse right there. And the lighthouse takes you into the Faro Park area. And uh, we went down the Faro Park area in an Italian restaurant called Dal, Dal something. I can't remember the bloody name now. I'm getting tired now. Um, but it was a lovely Italian meal and it's well worth popping down the Faro Park area. And I'm gonna do a full video on that to show you what's around there. But there's the lighthouse look. And the minute I get to the end of this path, we have achieved our goal of getting there. I sound like one of them. Dal Travisano, that's the one Lanza Lux Villas. Lanza Lux Villas is on. So Lanza Lux Villas, I went and had a look at their villa. It's beautiful. Villa Ad Adriana, I think, is the name. I might have got that wrong, so do forgive me if I have uh, Lanzarote Villas. Um, but go over and follow them, Lanza Lux Villas, because they do some things on their Lanzarote as well. And they've got a lovely villa that they rent out. Villa Ad Ariana, Ariana, there you go. They do, um, got a lovely villa. I've done the full video on my YouTube there. They showed me round it. So if you're looking for a villa that we talked about earlier, um, their villa's not far from here really, not too far anyway. Or is it, no it's not, it's right at the other end. <laughs> I've done so many and I'm getting tired now. I'm trying to think where I am. But yeah, Lanza Lux Villas, you can see them on here, drop them a follow. And uh, they've got a lovely villa for rent. Morning. Morning. And here we go, lighthouse, lighthouse. Can you go past the lighthouse slightly? Not today, Jack, because I'm knackered. It's near Las Colorado, so that's it. So where we started this morning, like uh, two hours ago, that's where it is in that area there. But it's well worth it. Uh, vi go onto the YouTube, I've done a full video on there, Lanza Lux Villas, uh, and it, I'll tell you what, beautiful place to stay. What's the best beach to go and play a Blanca? I'd say play a Dorada or play a Flamingo. Or if you can get there, Papagayo. They're the best beaches in, in some of the best beaches in the world. Um, but you can only get there by car and it's a bit bumpy. Um, and, that, and that's about it really. Um, right, so there's Lighthouse. Fab. And this is the end of the road. And then we're gonna turn around, Mrs. Travelon is gonna pick me up from the entrance of the Royal Monica. So I'm gonna walk back with you, so don't go anywhere, will you? I'm gonna keep you going. There's the lighthouse, look. It's well worth coming up here to have a little nose around the lighthouse. You have to climb over a couple of walls and a bit of a dirt track, but it's well worth it. You finished now? Oh, we just do around. Yeah! <laughs> Get on it, see you later. No, not all the way. So there you go. 
that was the lighthouse look we made it in let me just have a look at this actually let me have a look at this one second i never know how to do this here we go here we go one second guys here we go there's my ugly mug look so we made it i'm going to tell you how far we've done look we've done turn that on with it 12,982 steps to the lighthouse from the papagayo i definitely need a shave look Whoa, look at that stay to me but i've got my little water thing look how sad am i walking around like that i look like a proper plonker and there you go so i'm going to walk back to the um the 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 the, the royal monica hotel so i'm going to switch the camera around in a minute um and mr Travelon's going to pick me up so stay tuned don't go anywhere because i'm not leaving you yet and you can see mrs Travelon. she'll be picking me up and then we'll go for a drive back to the house so i'm going to flick the camera around again and show you these beautiful views there you go so look you can see when we're walking this way the uh montagna rocca up there look and you can see you can walk all the way to the top of that and this gets you one of the best views looking good Dave thanks for sharing these beautiful views in the morning Lanzalux villas it's a pleasure and we must meet up next time you're over i'm just so busy at the moment and then i went to tenerife uh giving away is here in five days fantastic so there's montagna rocca and like i said you can walk up there really good it's about it takes about 30 minutes to get to the top depending on how fast you walk it's a bit of a trek you have to be good on your feet but the views up there are awesome and then you can walk all the way around the crater of the volcano so you see i'm walking into the wind now so if you can't hear me because uh, of the wind i'm walking right into the wind so it's a little bit difficult for me Oh, I'm two weeks back in Lanzarote. Make sure to drop me a, uh, a message. I'll, we'll definitely meet up. Uh, whereabouts are you? I'm in Playa Blanca. So I wish I was there. It's a lovely day today, I tell you. And it's nice to get out on a Sunday morning and have a walk. And look, that lady there is doing a little bit of meditation, which I've actually been doing lately. I tried a bit of meditation. But too many things going on in my head. I can't really uh, switch off for more than, t more than five minutes. But what a place to come and meditate, right by the ocean. We'll just come and have a little walk, look. Morning. Love watching your videos. I'm over on Tuesday, can't wait. Good old Tracy. Tuesday's coming, not far. Coming over in three weeks today, fabulous. Just got back from Costa de Guise. Three weeks today, that's not too bad. Uh, Sands Beach, so many mixed reviews on Sands Beach. What can I say about Sands Beach? It's a three star. Um, it's like a sport, well, it's not a sporting hotel. They've got a big Olympic swimming pool. It's basic, but it's nice. You can't go wrong, really. It's ideally located. It's got its own little beachy area. Um, it's one of them things. The thing is, if you start looking at sort of reviews and stuff unless you find like a hotel with like every single review is bad then you know it's a bad place but if it's mixed reviews all i can say to you is hotels and holidays are sold on the basis of expectations so you've got to understand that i might go into a hotel and think it's amazing it's beautiful Whereas somebody else would go in that's maybe stopped in a different type of hotel and think it's not good. So holidays are sold on expectations. And depending on how you read things, depending on how you see pictures, depending on how you predict things or interpretate things, you're gonna be either happy or disappointed. So unless, if you're looking on reviews, and I'm gonna do a video about reviews because I'm sick of seeing people reviewing things incorrectly. But if you look on reviews and they're all bad, then yeah, probably don't book it. But if you're talking 50-50, 60-40, good to bad, 
it's just different opinions. Some people like things, some people don't, do do they? So you can't really go on it. Um, and some people will have a bad experience. You know, if there's a hundred hotels in the ho, if there's a hundred rooms in a hotel, and three of them are crap, um, or three of them have got crap views or stuff like that. Of course, if you're going to be in one of them hotels, but the hotel's full and your view isn't as good as the one that somebody else you meet, you're going to be annoyed. So you might say, oh, the hotel was rubbish, we had a crap view. Well, no, the hotel was all right, but your view was crap. So it's, it's a bit of a different, it's a bit of a weird one. I am going to do a video all about reviews, how you should do it, when you should do it, what you should look out for, and uh, just go like that, because it's, it's hit and miss. You've got to, I don't know. I don't know, it's a, it's a difficult one, isn't it? These trip advisors are good for a few things, but at the same time, morning, you're right. Yeah. At the same time, they're super bad for other things. So Caroline, Caroline uh, agrees with my rant. What excursions would you recommend heading in August? Lisa, excursions. So, that's what we do. Travelon.world, excursionslanzarotti.com. Discount code WEBDIS, W-E-B-D-I-S. What I'd recommend, Rancho Texas, number one attraction. Water park, if you've got small kids, the Aqua Lava. If you've got bigger kids, the Aqua Park in Costa de Guise. They're your, they're your main sort of touristy attractions. If, you wanna, if you're in Lanzarote, you have to see the volcanoes. Um, it's like going to Egypt and not seeing the pyramids. So you've got to see the volcanoes. If you want a full tour of the island, north and south with volcanoes, the Grand Tour is by far the best. If you just want to see the volcanoes, morning, you all right? Morning. Yeah, you all right, you having a good time? Yes, Fabulous. If you, uh, if you just want to see the, um, the volcanoes, do the short south. Other things to do that are worth doing, um, jet skis are fabulous. If you want to do a boat, I would certainly go for, well, you've got a number of options now. I always say, I love Papagayo. That's your best big catamaran, I love Papagayo. But get it booked in advance. Or there's a few new ones that have popped up that are on our site where there's only 12 people on the boat. They're a little bit more expensive, but for the extra 40 euros, there's only 12 people on there. Mark's on it, look, Mrs. Travelon's outside the Royal Monica. I did see that, Mark. Fabulous. She's parked outside, so we're gonna go and meet Mrs. Travelon. And then we can come for a drive with me, which is an, a, a good way to see a little bit of Playa Blanca. So we'll drive all the way back, won't we? That'll be good. Can you hire boats? Yes, you can hire boats. Um, have a look on our website. We've got boat hire, we've got all sorts. All sorts of stuff. And it's travelon.world and excursionslanzarotti.com. And I'm gonna walk through this Royal Monica, look, and Mrs. Travelon's gonna be picking me up from outside, and then we're gonna drive all the way through town and all the way back to where I parked. So I'll tell you what, you're gonna see a lot of Lanzarote today. <laughs> a lot of Playa Blanca, in fact, all of Playa Blanca. And do you know what? I'm gonna be really cheeky and I'm gonna walk right in front of these rooms here at the Royal Monica just to show you, because they're really nice. Well, I don't know what they're like inside. Like I said, it's basic accommodation. But view-wise, look, if you can sit here, if you can sit here, look, and chill out for the day, and have a good old nose of people walking past. That'd be ideal. And to be honest, I'm having a little peek in the rooms. They don't look that bad, you know. They don't look that bad at all. But I think these are an upgraded room on the front. I think you have to pay a little bit extra for these. But I'll take you through the hotel so you can see. This is cheap and cheerful here. Um, it definitely could do with a spruce up. It could do with a uh, liquor paint. Um, it looks a little bit run down. But I mean, location-wise, it's great. Morning. There's people arriving here, look. They're right at the front. So let's, let's cut through here. And we'll go up these stairs. And this should take us to the reception. Is THB Tropical Island nice? Yes, Anna. Have a look on my YouTube channel. I've done a full video on THB Tropical Island. So. I'm, in, I'm inside, have a nose. <laughs> Mrs. Travelon's inside, she's having a nose around the hotel. Cheeky, cheeky woman. Cheeky woman, look. <sighs> right, so this is the pool bar area where we're heading up to reception. 
which I think, oh God, I'm lost. We're lost in the Royal Monica. We'll find it. How about H10? H10, Joe, is probably the number one brand of hotels in the Canary Islands. There's Mrs. Travel on look. She's having a nose around. She just wants to get on the video. I bet she's done her hair and everything because she knows she's going to be on. No, look, she hasn't got her furry slippers on though. I'm worn out. Come on then, there's Mrs. Travelon. The famous Mrs. Travelon look. Come on. She's off. Turn that off because I'll be, I'll be echoing. What part of Lanzarote is this? This is uh, Playa Blanca. Is it up here, yeah? Yes. So we're going up here. Mrs. Travelon's going to take me all the way back to where we started. Thanks, Travel Queen. <laughs> What's the temperature there? It's about 25, 26 degrees today. It's roasting and it's going to get hotter. And we're walking through the reception, look, of the Royal Monica. So you can see, look, it's a little bit, it's a little bit dated, but it's still nice. But you have a look at the price of this place because it's really cheap. It's really cheap. So let's get in the car and we're gonna head all the way back. So we'll get to see the whole of Playa Blanca. Where are you parked? Over there. So you get to see the whole of Playa Blanca. Where are you? Just joined. Well, Candy, I've walked the whole length of Playa Blanca this morning for two hours. Now Mrs. Travelon has come to pick me up, look, and she is going to take me all the way back to the car and we're going to film on the way back as well and show you Playa Blanca. Let me get my, uh, let me get my bag off so I can sit down. I was going to say bring me a bottle of water, but let me get... Take a gulp of water. Oh, 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 we're rocking and rolling. Let me just put that in there. Let me check I've got everything. Yep, got everything. We're in the back. Doors are closed. Right, we're in. Oh. So we're gonna show you some views now of Playa Blanca as I drive all the way back to where I started. Let me just get myself buckled in. It's hard with one hand. There you go. Right, I'm in. Windows down. Here we go. So, there's Mrs. Travel on, look. She's gonna take us. She's very quiet today. She's not quiet when she's on the chat, is she? When she's blocking people. My private video. Right, so, let's go. So here we go, look. This is the Farrow Park area. And Farrow Park is just up there, ahead of us. So Farrow Park is just up there. There's loads of bars and restaurants up in that direction there. And like I said, if you have a look on my YouTube, we did a, we ate in an Italian restaurant um, and it was lovely. And I am gonna show you everything that's going on. Miss Speedy, Simon says. Miss Speedy, travel on. She does drive fast, Simon. She needs to slow it down a bit so that you lot can see what's going on. But then we'll drive, we'll drive fast past these rubbish bits here because there's not much to see here. You're punching. <laughs> you know it. You know it, Gillian. Here we go, some people crossing the road. So these are nice little villas here in the Farrow Park area. Is the new Primark open yet? No, not yet. We went to the open mall yesterday and it's uh, all the signs are up from the new Primark. All the pennies, if you're Irish, because it's called pennies, isn't it? And it originated in Ireland, I didn't know that. But here we go, we're going round here, look. Drop me a comment, Kev, Storm, if you want some recommendations, I'll tell you where the best places are. Just my, put my excursion through you, brilliant. Thank you so much, mate, really appreciate it. What do you like about living there? Um, it's safe safe for the kids and a really nice place to live that's about it really <laughs> it's a safe place uh, can you show from the front of the radio it makes me feel like I'm travel traveling sit there you go there's the front is the front better for you I suppose it is isn't it yeah you're right so there's the front um, 
So we're coming up, we, we walked past the uh, H10 Rubicon Palace before, didn't we? And this is the front of the H10 Rubicon Palace. Huh? British Palace. Oh, yeah. That was a Spanish one before. Uh, hi, Dave, over in June. Fancy you get the posh water. Oh, I love a bit of posh water, Paul, you know me. So there's the front of the, um, of the Rubicon Palace. Just coming up here. So this is the main reception. It'll give you it'll give you an idea of where everything is because we've walked all the way down the front from the top end of Playa Blanca. So this is the Rubicon here, beautiful place. And we're heading in this direction. Look here, and we should go. Yeah, we'll go through town. I'll get Mrs. Travel on to drive through town. Um, go yeah, go Water Parkway, and we'll take on a little tour of Playa Blanca all the way up to the well we're actually at the whoop oh, we're actually <laughs> we're actually at the um, Mirador Papagayo is the Relaxia Playa Lanza in Porto del Carmen good yes it's lovely thanks Mark steakhouse down there yeah there is a steakhouse we just passed it oh I keep flicking you go down past, oh my god what's going on here we go. Now, if that don't make you travel sick, that will. <laughs> are you going to go through the main street? Yes, we are. So we're going to come down. Just go that way. Go oh, that way. Right. We're going to come down. Um, we'll come down past the water park, the Rio, the uh, Playa Flamingo, and then we'll come past the spa and the harbour. Then we'll go through town, and then we'll head up the top. What you got in that posh water, uh, Dave? I've got the posh water today. I've got the uh, the blue bottle one, but it's in my little pouch because that's how sad I am. Look, I've got a backpack with a little pouch and a straw. Take it seriously. So I oh, will just pass there, La Branda. Um, that was another one that I've done a video on. Have you been to Galleon Player yet? It's nice. Galleon Player's in Costa de Guise, so it's not in Playa Blanca, but it's still a nice hotel. I think I can unplug that now. I've got 48% battery. Right, let's go. We're rocking and rolling. So, we are coming down. Jack's on. Hello, Jack. I haven't seen you on here all morning. Having a nose just because his mother's left the house. Hello. Dear God. What have you done today, Jack? Absolutely nothing. Well, I bet you've done. Shop and got bacon oh, he's been to the shop to get bacon rolls. There you go. Alfie will be playing games. He won't be doing anything. Uh, but it's Sunday. Hello again, DJ Merlin. How are you? What's Beatrice's bar like? It's beautiful. Big place. But it's a little bit out, out of town in, in Costa de Guise. So coming down here, look. This will give you the idea of where we are. So that was Rubicon Palace. Um, so you are a little bit out in Rubicon but you can get everywhere on the local bus or taxis. They're very easy to get. And you can see loads of people probably going to the water park here because down here you've got the aqua lava on the right hand side. So remember when I said about the water parks, this is the one in Playa Blanca um, and it's here, look, mind that car. There you go. So there is the water park. So that's it. You've got a few, few rides there and then on the other side, you've got the Rio, the, the Rio Hotel. And then down here, you've got the Player Flamingo as well. Now we walked past the Player Flamingo, didn't we? The back end of it right on the front. And this is the entrance to the Player Flamingo. So what we did, um, what we did is walk all the way down the front where the beach is. But this is where the start of the hotels are, the entrances. So that's the Player Flamingo there. And it's perfectly located. And then we'll also pass the Iberia Star Lanzarote Park in a minute as well. Um, you need a Cyan Park there. You do indeed, Mark. We went to Cyan Park. I've got a whole video to edit for Cyan Park. It's amazing. And this is why I like Tenerife over Lanzarote in some things. Because, I mean, Lanzarote hasn't got the Cyan Parks and the Laro Parks. And it misses it. It, it. it could do with something big, but they like to keep everything sort of quite natural here. They don't want too much mass tourism. So it's one of them. There's the uh, entrance to the Iberia Star, that big hotel that I showed you before. And it's right near to the harbour area, which we're gonna go through in a minute. And you can come all the way down here, look. So this is where you'd be walking to get into town 
or you walk on the front. I mean, it's definitely uh, to walk on the front. Garth, Tenerife is awful, Lanzarote is fantastic. Yeah, I agree, Garth, but there are some things in Tenerife which I uh, think are better than Lanzarote. And again, I'm gonna have to do a video on there of the, uh, the ups and downs. Lauro Park is horrible for the animals. Yeah, it is, but there, there's the spa. Look and get your super, supermarket shopping in there. Don't do the big shop there. Do the big shop a little bit further up in town. There's a big heap of Dino. You'll save yourself a fortune. Um, there's the harbour, look. So we walked past the harbour before as well, didn't we? I'm going to do a comparison video for sure. It's going gonna, it's gonna to ruffle some feathers. Definitely going to have some people arguing on there. Tenerife's much better. Kelsey, this is going to be the video. What's better, Lanzarote or Tenerife? I like both. So there's the harbour look, just down there. And when I said go to the supermarket, so don't go to the spa for your big shop, go to your spa for your, for your little shop and your little bits, and then come in here, look, and there's a, a big Hyperdino down there. It's open on a Sunday as well, and that's the best place to get your big shop in. It's cheaper, save yourself a fortune. Mrs. Travelon's doing a good job driving down here. Going slow. Did you buy or rent? We rented for a long time, for about 10 years, and then we bought. Tenerife is boring? No. Love lay, Lanzi, Lanzi player. Love Dino, great place to shop, yeah. It's not as good as Mercadona and Lidl. So there's the main bus stop there, look. There's Mrs. Travelon, look, driving. There's the main bus stop there. And you can get um, the local bus everywhere, even from the airport. And again, I'm going to do a video on that. Up oh, the Tenerife. Oh, see, look, everyone's arguing on here about Tenerife and Lanzarote. This is why I'm going to do a video. I reckon it'll go good. It'll be an argument video, won't it? Yeah. So this is the main town. So we're heading into Playa Blanca town now. So we walked all the way along that seafront, look. Um, and that's where we passed. We passed Breezus Marinas down there. But if you come into this part of town, a little bit off the seafront, you'll save yourself a bit of money in the bars and restaurants. And there's a shopping street just up there called Calle Lamones. So there's great shopping up there. And then around here lot is the main town. So there's quite a few bars and restaurants to enjoy here as well. And they are a little bit cheaper than down on the front because obviously the fronts pay a lot more rent. So the prices are more, and you pay for the view, don't you? To sit, sort of see, see, see views. Um, love, 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 Los Gigantes. Yes, I got lost in Los Gigantes. If you watch my video, completely lost. I didn't know where I was, but it's a nice place. So this is town, main player Blanca town. Plenty of places to do, uh, to see and, and go. There's a little kids area there. Some kids having a breakdown. <laughs> Some kids having a breakdown there. Can you get the bus from Costa de Guiz? Yeah, you can get the bus everywhere. Everywhere. Mark's seen me get lost in there, in Costa de Guiz, in Costa de Guiz, in Los Gigantes. He's not happy at all. Um, O'Connor's Irish Bar, live music every night. Tasty Irish breakfast, yes indeed. Has anyone booked with Nick and Karen before? I'm not sure who Nick and Karen are. Uh, what's the temperature? It's about 24, 25 degrees. Bus is cheap as chips, it is indeed, Baza. What do you think of Rio Paraiso? Big hotel, lovely, in Porto del Carmen. There's the Princess Yaiza, look. So the Princess Yaiza is the five star, and that's what we passed earlier. And then also next to there is the Dreams Player Dorada, which we passed as well. So don't forget, if you're on this TikTok and you've missed uh, the live or you've just joined us, it will be on our YouTube channel. The whole video has been recorded, 149 minutes, I'm going to upload it this afternoon and you'll be able to see it li uh, live catch up on our YouTube channel. Whether anybody's going to watch it for 149 minutes, I'm not sure, but it's well worth a watch. So there's the Dreams Player Dorada as well. And we're also coming past that new big mega hotel, which I'm going to show you. Motorbike hire, I'm not sure. You can hire the little mopeds, but I'm not sure about motorbikes. Uh, what did you think of Gran Castilla Tagoro? Yeah, I liked Gran Castilla Tagoro. I thought it was lovely. I don't think it's a five star though. I think it's a four star. It's definitely not a five star in my opinion. So this is that big hotel I showed you. 
earlier that's been built it's going to be called the Barcelo Playa Blanca and it's going to be the biggest hotel in Lanzarote um, by the past uh, by overseas so it's going to be the biggest hotel in Lanzarote look at the size of it no potholes on the road no there's not uh, what about Mind? Mind Geyser, I've done a full video, I stayed there. I stayed there for the night, so I showed you everything around there. Go on my YouTube channel and have a look. Have you been to Gran Canaria? It's next on the list. So there's the uh, Marina Rubicon area that, I top, that we went to as well. That's where the big uh, Rubicon is. That's the entrance to Marina Rubicon. And you can see in the background that sort of volcano, that's the Volcan Hotel. And that's a five star. Is it a five star? Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful hotel, that is. Uh, what part of Lanzarote is this? We're in Playa Blanca today. We've had loads of people on today. We've had like a thousand constant, which is mad. It's a Sunday morning, you see. Uh, do you know anything about Princess Yaza Hotel in Lanzarote going there for the summer? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's probably one of the best hotels on the island, um, the Princess Yaza. It's gorgeous. Fabulous place. Have you been to Porta del Carmen? Yes, Sophie, I've been there. There's loads of videos on, on my YouTube and on TikTok of Porta del Carmen. You struggle to film Gran Canaria if you walk. Why is that? Um, is Blue Bay nice? Yeah, it is. Motorcycle hire could not be covered in an accident. Motorcycle hire your holiday insurance could not cover it. Really? Yeah, check your holiday insurance if you're allowed to hire mopeds and bikes and quads, even the scooters, I suppose. If you walk through the dunes, ah, I know what you mean, yes. The dunes of Maspalomas. Well, maybe I'll have to uh, go with an, a, a, a secret camera. Have you been to Club La Santa? No, I haven't. I can't ride a bike, I can't swim, and I don't do the triathletes, but it's a big sporting hotel, isn't it? So there you go. We're nearly at my car, look. So I'm going to show you just up here. Um, there's a big Hippodino up here if you want to do your big shop as well if you're in this area um, there's a good good for shopping and there's a little overseas it's like your British supermarket you probably need a second mortgage to shop there to do a big shop because it's super expensive because they import everything from England um, but they do some nice stuff in there there we go look and that's the main shopping centre and this is where it all started this morning about two I mean how long about two and a half hours ago so there you go we're in Mrs Travelon's there driving she's a lady a few words this morning isn't she she's not when she's typing and kicking people off and answering questions but we're here Mrs Travelon's going to do her own channel what do you reckon should Mrs Travelon do a Mrs oh. Travelon channel <laughs> to tell everybody what Lanzarote is like. So there you go. Mrs. Travel on, say goodbye. Bye. And my car's down here. I can see. And I'm off. I've got to have a shave, I think, for sure. I've got to do some, I've got to do some work now. I bet you, hopefully, you lot have all been booking excursions, but don't forget, if you're booking excursions, it's www.travelon.world, excursionslanzarote.com and uh, use the code WEBDIS and you get yourself a cheeky little discount. From me, it's goodbye. Mark, thanks very much, mate. You've been an absolute legend, keeping Mrs. Travelon good. The beard suits you, it needs silking. Mrs. Travelon's off, I'm off for the Sunday. I'll see you later. If you need anything, drop me a private message, I'll answer anything. And if you've watched all the way on this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, follow and subscribe. See you all later. I don't know how to get off this now. Uh, get off that. Oh. Something's come up. Bye.